Don't know if I'll be finishing it today. It depends how long I take on it. It depends how long. All right. So let us bring everything back up. I'm going to have to have it capture it. This is called Another Lost Phone Laura Story. It's a spiritual successor to a normal lost phone. I don't think you need to know anything from a normal lost phone to understand what's going on in this game. It does have domestic abuse and overcoming it and recognizing it. Um, so it's overall a good game, but just know that that is going to be showcased in this game. So if that is a really sensitive subject for you, this is a trigger warning right ahead of everything. So play. And then I'll have to capture it. Hold on. You saw a flicker out of the corner of your eye? Okay, maybe it did flicker. That's a great sign, guys. Hmm. Usually don't stick around when Minx raids people, but I'm glad I did when she raided you. Oh, the ruiner, all the love. Aww. Ooh. Oh, God, it's coming up. Hold up. Well, oh, got game capture. <laughs> Stop it. Get out of here. You have just found a phone. Find out the truth. Another lost phone. Lower story. Press any key to start. Oh, it just said I was playing the game. It's very square. I wonder why there's black bars. Welcome, though. I right, know she's talking because of my traumas, so she had me color and slowly started talking while coloring. That's legit. I mean, like, I am, I have find it much easier to talk when I'm being physical. So if I'm walking, if I'm, like, playing a game, anything like that, it's a lot easier to talk for me. The thing was down within minutes. Which Oh, when I got into this house, my bedroom had a life-size mirror. <laughs> Fuck this mirror in particular. She's recording. Cat, don't forget to record. <laughs> no, you're fine. Thank you so much for reminding me either way. Phantom light flickering is a symptom of microseconds in your eye nerves and your brain not being in sync. No worries. Oh, if that's what happened to me. Sweet. Minx is good people. It's true. Hey. But yeah, you are all welcome here. You know that. As long as you guys respect each other and respect me. <laughs> that's the primary goal. All right. So, as I said. Another last phone. Laura's story. Let's do this. It's probably going to be emotional. The story of this phone is fictional, but the events described here are realistic and based on actual events. Searching through the content of another person's phone is a violation of the owner's privacy. You are about to enter the private life of a fictional character. Do not repeat these actions, but do not repeat these actions in situations outside the parameters of this game without consent of the people involved. Well played. I like it. Some cont contextual content in this game may be disturbing, but the game contains no shocking visual elements. So it's stories, but not picture shock value. Press start the game to launch the game immediately or press plus for more details. Warning, spoilers relating to key elements of the story. Oh, for more details? Okay. So that's saying like what could be shock value. I'm not going to do that just because spoilers, but you guys have been warned. <laughs> so... Start game. Do you guys hear that okay? You have 12 unread messages from Ben. If this starts to get really loud, let me know. Like last time. Wasn't Laura in the previous? I don't remember a Laura. But I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. That's really loud. I am going to turn that down. I'm also going to turn down my phones because I will deafen myself on accident. All right, because it's not required to hear. So I'm gonna put it to negative 10. Is that still pretty loud, guys? Very considerate devs to announce all this, right? I know that the main person was Sam and they were friends with, it wasn't Laura, it was, and their ex wasn't named Laura. But I don't know the names of the other people. Lola, she was a bitch. <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering names, as you guys can tell. I just remember the main character's name was Sam. All the music. How does it sound right now? Is it a little overpowering? Do you still need me to make it a little lower? Especially since I'm probably going to be reading like this. Alice, thank you. Honestly, there were a lot of people in the last game, so I don't remember. There were a lot. There were a lot, a lot. So I don't blame you, because obviously that's where I'm at. <clears throat> it's good, says lot. Oh, it's still loud. Smooth. I mean, it is smooth jazz. It does look a little loud, so I'm going to put it down a little bit more. 14 and a half. Is that better? Better for all of you? A bit loud, still a bit loud. Okay. How's this? 
But I'm playing this on my PS3. And I'm playing this. Wow. And loud. Okay. So let me know how it is now. Can't remember girlfriend's name. I know it wasn't Laura, but I don't know what it was. Good now. At least I know where to find music now if the music stops. Better? Okay. Sweet. Quite a bit better? Okay, cool. Because, yeah, it's staying in the high green, which is usually what I try to keep it at. But. So that way it doesn't compete with my loudest voice. All right. Melissa? Oh, maybe, yeah. Not watching a 70s adult movie. What's with this really good jazz? <laughs> yep. I bet you they made it themselves. All right, so, Ben. I just spent a sleepless night waiting for... I'm not doing different voices. Based on the last game, there are a lot of them. Just spent a sleepless night waiting for you, and I've tried phoning all the hospitals and clinics. I'm not going into the office today. I'll wait at home for any news. I tried to call you at your work phone, but the line's dead. I don't know what to do. Laura, where are you? Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There was a lot. Ah, shit. What? Oh. Hoot. Rude. You're gonna make me scroll? Fine. Oh, wait. That works! Also. <sighs> Let me just check. Because apparently River texted me. Oh, River's thinking about going to the card store again tonight. Well. Alright. Thank you for the wonderful night. Thank you. It was really incredible. You can't imagine how happy I am to, met, to have met you. Our time in bed was really fantastic. But it's not just that. The conversations we had. But it was mentioned first! Conversations we had. They did me so much good. You always found the right words to say. I feel like another man this morning. Thanks to you. I'm so happy to have helped you. Helped me. It's so much more than that. I feel like I've come alive again. It's as if my heart has been locked up for in a box for years and you were the key I needed to set it free. I can feel emotions again. You're making me blush. Blush my sweet key. My sweet key. You're so cute when you blush. I'm out shopping. Do you want me to buy the ingredients for that stuffed zucchini recipe I was telling you about? Excellent idea. You really sold it to me. So I want to learn how to make it with you. Tonight, 7 at my place? Okay. What's the door code? 4004. I feel like that's important for later. For later! Uh, yeah, no shocking visuals. Sounds can be deceiving. It's true. You remember Laura? Hmm. I had to go help someone with a thing, so I missed a lot, but I'm back for a bit. No, you're fine. I don't think you missed a lot. You just missed us talking, and then I just started. So. Um, we have a bunch of messages from Ben. It's the extent of my knowledge. The meal yesterday was delicious. Thanks. I was so glad that you liked to see you liked it. I love cooking. I can come and cook something else for you, for you tonight if you like. No way. It's my turn to cook tonight. Okay, cool. I hate bell peppers, by the way. Oh no, I adore bell peppers. Damn, well, I guess it's all over between us. That's sad. How will we ever tell the kids? Poor Albert and Henry. Hey, stop right there. There's no way we're calling our kids Albert and Henry. I object. Okay, objection upheld. Objection! See you tonight. See you tonight, my little key. Why are you calling me key? That's weird. Hi. A red light has appeared on your coffee machine, and I can't get any coffee out of it. What should I do? Wow, did you just wake up? Did you check there was water in it? At one, at two in the afternoon. Yeah, I slept in, and the and yeah, there's no water in it. Thanks. You really need some needed some rest, so I'm glad I let you sleep late. Yeah, I guess. But are you okay? Not too tired? Exhausted. I've been trying to work since this morning, but I haven't done anything productive. You're very exhausting, Missy. Of course, kind sir, but you're to blame too. Ben, are you mad at me? Sorry. Sorry, next time you tell me you're tired, I won't tease you. Ben? Okay. Girl, it is nine minutes between texts. Calm down. I was in a meeting. Are you still at my place? Or, yeah, you didn't tell me what to do with your keys. You can leave if you like, but I don't have another key, so you'll have to be there tonight to open the door for me. Okay, I'll cook something nice for tonight while I wait. Unless you'd prefer an evening alone to catch up on some sleep. Don't worry about my sleep. Pre uh, my sleep. Sleep. Sweet little key. I'd rather have a delicious meal. Okay, I'll go shopping. 
Laura, where are you? I'm locked out. Help! Damn, sorry, I went for a run and didn't notice the time. I'm not too far. I'll hurry back. Hey, will you be home soon? I wanted to go for a run. I'll wait until you're back. Ben? Shall I eat now or wait for you? Again, like an hour. I guess an hour. Fine, but... Mm. Sorry, I was in a meeting that went on for ages. We ordered pizza. I'll be home soon. Totally forgot that some friends asked me around tonight. Do you want to come? I'd love for you to meet them. Okay. Great. They'll adore you. I'm, like, afraid of how this is going to turn. Uh, I like all the objection emotes. Thank you, guys. Oh, God. I got caught. This is fine. Uh, a... Uh, at the party last Friday, your friend Amir mentioned going bowling. Do you want us to go? Hmm, I'm not keen. I think Claire will be there, and I don't really want to see her again. Who's Claire next? No, but she wishes. She's a friend of Amir's and totally nuts. I'm going to actually move this closer to me and lean more back. Because I think I need some, some more support. Um, desperate to go out with me, and she was convinced I was crazy about her too, even though I was seeing one of her friends. She tried to break up the relationship and even started harassing my ex. So basically, she's not someone I want to see again, and I really wouldn't want her to meet you. Wow, okay. We'll forget bowling night. Why don't we have a romantic evening together this weekend instead? Restaurant, then theater. Think that'll be nicer than bowling, don't you think? Yes. Okay, I've returned the keys. Great. I feel strange. Why? I lived in that apartment for five years. Oh. Sure, but now you're free from yelling neighbors, leaky pipes, and heating problems. True. You know what the, What I won't miss either? The horrible kitchenette. Wink. Do you have the keys? I can't find them. Why don't you have two keys now? Ah, uh, yeah, damn. Have I locked you in? Yes. I'm so sorry. I can, can't come, I can't even come rescue you. I have a really important meeting in five minutes. No, it's okay. I was supposed to meet Carmen at three this afternoon, but never mind. It's ironic, though. I'm your little magic key that can unlock your heart, but not open a door. But can't open a door. Uh, bowling out her gas. Yes, yas. I'll get the key copied today so we won't have this problem again. Good plan. You can't because it's a security key, so you need documents, special... Oh, God damn it. Never mind. Special authorization, things like that. I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. You will remember to get the key copied today? I promise I won't forget this time. Oh no, they closed for lunch actually. No. I'll go tomorrow during my break. I have a new colleague called Laura. I think of you when I hear her name in the office, but you're much prettier. All right. You won't believe this. What's up? I didn't have the right documents to copy the keys, so they wouldn't do it for me. No, I can't stand it. I've been locked in for three days. Jesus. I know it's really annoying, but let's try to stay positive. At least the apartment is clean. Sorry, that wasn't very good. Sure, it's really clean, but the refrigerator is empty because I couldn't go shopping. So what shall I cook tonight? Rice with ketchup? We'll go shopping together tomorrow, and I'll take you to restaurant this evening. Really? So cool. Shall we meet at T Tamiyuki at 7.30? You're taking me to Tamiyuki? You don't like it there? I don't know. I've never, I've never been. It's really posh, isn't it? Yeah, just a little. Okay, I'll doll myself up, but there's a problem. We can't meet there. You'll have to come and get me. I'm locked in, remember? Oh, yeah, true. I'll come and get you after work. My word. <sighs> that key isn't coming. No, it's not. Carmen has invited us to her house tomorrow to celebrate my new job. She's inviting both of us? Yeah, uh, I think so. Did she actually say she wanted me to come? No, not really, but it's obviously obvious she wanted you to come. Well, I'm not sure. Last time I got the impression she wasn't too happy that I was around. Why don't I ask her? That will be easier. Uh, no, don't worry. I have a lot of work to do, so I'll get started this evening while you're out. Okay. But I'm thinking it would be nice to celebrate your success together. How about a romantic escape? I have some time off in two weeks. Cool. And that'll be my last chance to go on vacation before I start my new job. Where do you want to go? Wherever you want to go. I'm just happy to be with you. You think of somewhere and we'll talk about it tonight or tomorrow. Okay. I'll be home late tonight. I'm having a drink with some colleagues. Charlotte wanted us to go for a drink with her tonight. Do you want to come? Uh, I'm not feeling well. Really? What's the matter? I've got this terrible headache. Oh no. Shall I stay home tonight? I can make you a lovely broth. Thanks. You're the best. Keeping her inside. I don't know which way this domestic abuse is going to go. 
Uh, Arg, why did you let me oversleep this morning? I tried to wake you, but couldn't. You kept pushing me away and grumbling that you were ill. Did I? I don't remember that. Anyway, you look like you needed some sleep. Sure, but I missed a really important meeting. Ouch, are you feeling better, though? I feel great, but I have to rush to get to work now. I'm going back to the apartment. I'll be working on... I'll be working from home from now on. I can't stand the comments my colleagues make anymore. Okay, remember to call me if you need to. I'm here for you. Did you sleep well? I don't didn't dare wake you up this morning. I heard you get up several times during the night. You did the right thing. I had a sleepless night. Oh, are you worried about what happened at work? Yeah. Wishing you all the best for today. I'll give you a nice massage tonight to help you relax. Thanks. I made some cookies. Mm, shouldn't you be working? Yeah, but I can't concentrate. Hang in there, little key. That concert won't organize itself. I'll have a cookie to keep me going. Dress up nicely this evening. I have a birthday surprise for you. Smiley face. I have a meeting that I'll finish late this evening. Go ahead and eat. Don't wait for me. Phew. A really tiring day at work. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to come home. I want to hold you in my arms. You'll be finished soon. Keep going. Or will you be home late? No, no. It's okay. I'll be home at the usual time. Where are you? Will you be home soon? Let me know when you go out. You know, you scared the shit out of me. You're home early. It's her <laughs> nope. addresses. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? What is it? I don't know. It's for you. Okay. Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. The fuck? Yeah, I'm open now. There's, there's a camera right there. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't and you up. had it facing right towards it. Didn't show up. Oh my God, it's River, guys. Back. Scared the shit out of me. It doesn't. Because someone can't flip an archive. Yep. Uh huh. What is this? It's a beanie. Why would it be from whatever it said it was? Oh, it is a beanie. Arr! My second beanie! Joe's sporting goods. Apparently. They're saying hello, River. Green! A. Sweet. <laughs> Girl saying hi. Okay. <laughs> beanie. Super green beanie. There we go. You're the shit out of me. Especially by how much of my own. Super green! That's green. A. I love green! Obviously. The problem. <laughs> Slouchy beanie. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> Sweet. Oops. Hold on. Short hair versus long hair. Back with some whiskey. Oh my god. That's a little extreme. Nice color. Thank you. Might as well. Hey, so now I have a gray one and a green one. Add some color to my beanies. That is bright AF, guys. Yellow. <laughs> 11 out of 10 beanie. Exactly. Hey. Green beanie for the win. Exactly. All right. That base, though. All right. Oh, lean back a bit. Okay. <sighs> this is close to where she was missing. Uh, where are you? Will you be home soon? Let me know when you go out. You know I get so worried when I come home and you're not here. Laura? What time will you be home? This is really loud. I'm hungry. Should I wait for you to get back before eating or not? It's late. What's going on? Laura? I've just seen there's a big... I've just seen there's 
been a big train crash at the station near Carmen's place. She's not answering her phone either. I'm frantic with worry. Where are you? Has anything happened to you? I just spent a sleepless night waiting for you, and I've tried phoning all the hospitals and clinics. I'm not going to the office today. I'll wait at home for any news. I tried to call you at... Uh, call you on your work phone, but the line's dead. I don't know what to do. Laura, where are you? So she really disappeared the fifth. So either she was in a car accident or so she's getting out of a terrible situation. One or the other. Back to the creepy guy. I don't know who's creepier. They're both kind of really self-dependent on each other, but... It's great to have a new phone. People can actually contact me again. Cool. Okay, so we're on the train. Wow, you're early, aren't you? You normally catch the train in the nick of time. Did your friend insist you arrive earlier? Yes, but she took it a bit far. She was so stressed that we arrived 30 minutes early before we were due to leave. Uh, but it was fine because we had plenty of time to store our luggage and find our seats. Okay, let me know when you leave, okay? We're off, XOXO. Have a good weekend. Hi, we're on the train back home. Was Wex Dairy fun? Yeah, I'll drop by the restaurant tomorrow and tell you about all about it. What time do you start? Same time as every Monday morning, 10.45. Oh yeah, I didn't know if you'd be up that early. If not, I'll come by after the lunch rush. Whenever you like, I'll be the here all day anyway. Hugs and kisses. Happy birthday. Thanks, see you tonight. Laura, what, what, what? I was sorting through some boxes in my garage and I found someone you knew. You know. Really? Don't tell me I have friends who live in your garage. Well, you do. It's Mr. Squishy. No way. Where did he come from? In a box I brought back from Mom's house. Most of the stuff was mine, but I rummaged around and found Mr. Squishy all squashed up at the bottom. Oh, I haven't seen him in ages. I thought he'd been left somewhere and forgotten. If you want to see him again and take him home with you, drop by any evening. Heart. What are you getting Mom for her birthday? So they are sisters. Okay. I was thinking about a scarf. What about you? A cell phone so she can finally live in the 21st century. Or you do know she won't be able to use it, right? You think so? Even if I give her a very basic one? Yeah, for sure. I bought her a cheap phone two years ago just for calls and texting. And now it's in the back of the drawer in her living room. Damn, well maybe it's because she doesn't know how to use it. Hmm, I don't think you can try to force someone who's not a techie. My, the day mom wants a phone, she knows she can always come to and ask us. True, I'll get her something else. She mentioned a hat she's seen at the mall. Okay, I'll take a look tomorrow afternoon. That's very vague. That doesn't feel like that would help me figure out which hat at all, but okay. Fine. That was fun. sound is happy with that base. Legit. 30 minutes early. I do that the same, to be honest. I've been an anxious bean sprout. That's legit, and you know. That's fine. I'll be early depending on it. I'm ca cat and all surround sound. <laughs> be really 30 minutes early and chill waiting. They're frantically rushing. Exactly. That's me. Lazy but early. A paradox? <laughs> well. Alright. Um. There are some new episodes of Strain Stray in Envoys available today. I managed to avoid spoilers online. I didn't. I read a spoiler about a new character, and I can't tell and I can tell you it's Say one word and you're not my sister anymore. I'm never speaking to you again. You can't say that. I'm your big, your favorite big sister. I'm the only one, but hey. I could just go to the big sis store and buy a new one. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they went out of business. Oh dear. Well, I'll just have to keep my old model from the 80s. I'll shoot. Hey lady, that's just rude. Can I come to yours tonight and eat and watch the new episodes? Sure, there's bound to be some leftovers from the restaurant so we don't have to cook. Did I leave my scarf at your house? You did. I'll keep it warm for you. I'm running a bit late. Don't worry. Is your work situation better? Nope. Don't worry. Ben is here for me. If you need anything, just let me know. Call me, won't you? Promise. Happy birthday, sis. And this is on April 14th. April 14th. Oh, in so that was the last time they texted each other. Wow. Huh. So it's been months that they haven't texted each other since Ben. That makes me nervous. Hi, Cindy. Hi. 
Hello, hello. Welcome. All right. So, Amanda. <clears throat> oh, that's it. <laughs> hey, I'm sending this message from my own phone. My work phone's out of battery and I'm running a bit late. Sorry, can we make it 30 minutes later, Laura? I'm already here, but take your time. Uh, I'll just order another tea. And it's so cool to have your private number. Okay. Thank you for the bitty, Cindy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Throw love and chat for the bitty. Thank you. The stream title and game hasn't updated. Oop, that's my bad. No, I didn't update it. Ooh, the music stops very abruptly. Hey. Okay, hold on. Wait for it. Um, another lost phone Laura story. Sweet. All right. Another lost phone. Laura's story. Mystery indie game. I'll call it that. Invading more personal privacy. <laughs> this makes sense, right? Done. Might take a bit, but I'm going to actually make sure it refreshes. Thank you for letting me know, Moonlit Gamer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good catch. Super good catch. Who wants to bet Ben is allergic to cats or dogs? Why? Why do you guess that? Thank you so much, Cindy. All right, so I'm going to refresh in just a minute just to make sure it worked. Why didn't that change immediately? What do you mean? I have to do it, so that's my bad. I just forgot. I'm almost falling asleep. Oh, take care, Demonas. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having the feels with us earlier. Thank you so much. Take care. Beer be legit. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't know. Just wanted to make sure. All right, refresh. It still hasn't done it. Hopefully it does it. So I'm going to have to figure it out again. Leave the stream now to pick up boyfriend from airport since he got a flight canceled. Oh, no. That's not good. Take care of the ruiner. Thank you so much for sharing the feels earlier, too. And take care of yourself. Have a wonderful day. Half of what I say is sarcastic. It's okay. It's just through text, I have a hard time catching sarcasm. My bad. I'm going to refresh one more time. Please. You're going to make me do it again? Rude. All right. Another lost phone. And mystery. Invading more personal pri privacy. See if that works. Refresh. Hey, it should be fixed now. Sweet. All right. So the proper game is announced. My bad. My bad. So, hey, thank you so much for that catch. Uh, all right. Yeah, take care, Demonas, and take care, the Rona. All right, so let's see what Sarah says. All right, up. Hey, it's been a super long time since we last saw each other. How are you? Yeah, it's been ages. I haven't been getting out much lately, I know, but it's because I found love. No way, tell me all. He's called Ben, tall, good looking. He's perfect. We've been together for two months. But weren't you in a long-distance relationship with some other gorgeous guy? No, you're thinking about my first boyfriend. We stayed friends after we broke up, but we finished years ago. Oh, okay, I didn't know. You'll have to introduce me to Ben someday. Sure, so what's up with you? Not much, but Maya's pregnant, and she'll be giving birth soon. Wow, great. Maya's giving birth. You want to come see the babies? I'm sick of the kittens. We'll be giving them away soon, so come now if you want to see them. Oh, the kittens. Oh, I would have wanted to see them so fast. I'll see you tomorrow. So did you find homes for them all? No, there's one left. You sure you don't want a super cute little furball of your own? I'd love to, but Ben's allergic! Sapphire jewels! <laughs> well. Well. Charlotte. 
Wait, is Charlotte the one that he was talking about? Or Carmen? I thought it was Carmen, but maybe it's Charlotte. No, Carmen. Okay. Weird. All the way to the top. There we go. No, no. Come back. Oh my god, yes. My brother, in his totally classy style. Oh, I downloaded it. I got nice picture as an achievement. Uh, I can see you're having fun. When are you back? Coons! In two weeks. Okay, I'm being serious now. I've finally seen Amelia, and I showed her the photo of the guy who ran the Zero Waste conference last month. She thinks he looks nothing like Victor. Damn, I could have sworn he was spitting image of him. You can see I'm no good at recognizing faces. Shame on me. So happy we'll be working together again. Yeah, me too. Do you want to go swimming on Saturday? Well, my period is due soon. Really? So you're not taking the pill continuously? Or what do you mean? Well, your packet of pills fell out of your bag the other day, and I couldn't help noticing that there were 28 pills instead of 21. Wow, hold on. How could you tell in three seconds there were 28 and not 21? Do you think I'd be an accountant if I didn't have a passion for numbers? Haha, <laughs> well spotted. Yes, there are 28, but 21 normal hormone pills and 7 placebos. That means I can take them every day and not forget to resume after my week off. That's legit. I didn't know that. Oh, that's handy. I have a daily reminder in my diary so I don't forget, but that's... It's true that remembering I don't have to take them during the 7 free... Pill-free days, and then remembering to take them again at the end of the week is a tad complicated. Exactly, so I get a reminder every day and never have to stop taking my pill. But what's all this about taking the pill continuously? A friend of mine does it. A pill with no placebo. You take the same pill for 20 days and never have a period. Oh, okay, I see. I, but I don't use them. I'm concerned about you, Laura. How are you feeling? I'm okay, no worries. The concert is coming along slowly but surely. It's not about the concert I'm worried about. It's you. Really? No, no, it's fine. Working from home is doing me so much good. I'm trying to stay focused on my tasks as much as possible and not dwell on the other stuff. Okay, but I'm here if you ever need anything. Okay, that's nice to know. Thanks. Hi, any news? How are you at the moment? It's all good. How about you? I'm fine, but I miss you. I want to see you. I don't feel well enough to go out at the moment. Okay, but if you change... Let me know if you change your mind. Do you want to meet up for a drink tonight? Hey, how are you? I haven't heard from you in a long time. So, like, she stops talking to people around March. But she went missing in June. Laura, I'm worried about you. I'm coming to see you during my lunch break. I hope you let me in. That's not a good sign. Adam, whoa! I like it. Is it whoa? I'm assuming it's whoa, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's short. Arts and Crafts Fair is on the 11th and 14th. Are you free? If so, call me. This is August. The wedding salon is on from the 16th to 18th. Are you free? If so, call me. Cardiology. Oh my god. Real estate exhibition. Chocolate fair. Book fair. Garden show. Jesus. All right. Elsa. Alex. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday yet. It is here with the time difference. Yeah, uh, really sweet of you to remember. Planning a big party? Sort of. A major company has booked the entire restaurant for a huge New Year's Eve bash. Not really in my honor, but I'm going to be working like crazy. Ouch, good luck. But you gotta admit, it wasn't the best idea to be born on December 31st. I had no choice. I had a friend who was born on December 31st. Alright. Another picture. Uh... For what? I'm not psychic or whatever, I just read the preview. Oh, got you. The preview in the in-text game. That makes sense. You can see it near Sarah's name. Gotcha. Facial recognition blindness is really a thing. I believe it. Tr a friend of mine has it. She goes by voices to diverge people from another. Gotcha. That makes sense. S yeah. <laughs> see, I'm photographic, so for me, that's hard to imagine. She learned to live with it, and since all of her friends know we are all calling uh, <laughs> calling out out loud when we see her, it's not a big deal. That's legit. As long as you all know. That's super legit. And thank you for the follow, Cindy, by the way. Thank you, thank you. All right. Elsa. You'll never guess who I have here with me. Or strangely enough, I have no idea. So you're not answering? I messaged you back. Strangely enough, I have no idea. Didn't you get it? Oh yeah, I got it, but I sent you a photo in our messenger. Didn't you see it? There's a lot of problems with our messenger today. I'm assuming Facebook. Uh, best send the photo on here. There we go. Wow, hey, is that Kitty? 
Yeah, we're at a space bar. Can you join us? No, I can't right now, but say hi to Kitty for me. Will do. That's it. Okay. That was October. That was a while ago. Emma. So did you meet my boss? Yeah, but it didn't go that great. Also, I arrived hot and sweaty because I was running up and down all those stairs. He could have told me that his office was in the middle of a massive labyrinth. Even with his office number, I really struggled. Oops, sorry. It wasn't really exactly your dream job, so I'm sure you'll find something better. That's it. Natalia. Uh... Hi, Laura. I'm planning... Hey, I'm planning a surprise for Amelia and Victor's wedding anniversary, and I need something, some nice pictures of them. Have you got anything? I have the photo I took of them at Gabriel's wedding, which is fantastic. Great. Can you email me them? Sure, I'll send it right now. And Daniel. Oh, wait. I followed your advice and brought the same photo phone as you. Bought the same phone as you. Cool. Makes a change from your crappy old one, huh? Sure does. So... Have you turned into a bear yet? Haha. Uh -huh. Take a look at this pic of my sister. Oh, that's the hat. Enjoy your holidays. Uh, are you having problems with your phone battery draining super quickly too? Yeah, totally, but I realized that what the problem was, it's much better. Please tell me what you did. It's driving me crazy. My phone's new and the battery doesn't even last two hours. The problem is the GPS. When you leave it on, it uses up all the phone power. Turn it off. Or how do you cope without GPS? It's a really neat toy. You turn it back on when you need it, stupid. You're stupid. Another tip, I noticed the GPS would sometimes just switch itself on. I found out how to lock it, so now it asks me a password. That way, I know my battery won't run down by mistake. I'll show you how to do it the next time I see you. Okay, thanks. I was in September. All right. So, no one's really seen her to my knowledge. Oh, that's weird. What? Meow. Meow. Do you guys hear that? Jake! What are you doing? It's been really enjoyable. Gotta take off. I'll, if I'm not here at the end, I'll try to be here tomorrow. Thank you so much for stopping by, Frog. Have a wonderful evening. Take care of yourself. Take care. I like that there are shorter combos in this game, right? Instead of like endless, endless text. I could technically stand right next to her and say, not saying a word and she'd never realize it's me. Aww, poor girl. All right, so SMS is that, well, yeah, okay. Gallery. Pictures. Sleeping on the train. Hey. All right, that looks delicious. L and B, Laura, and I um, said Bob. Ben. All right, is that the new place? Cool beans. 2022. So that'll be important. Hmm. And those are the ones I downloaded. On June 6th, so I found the day, the phone the day after Jake was just meowing. Meow. Wow. All right. I am here. Oh. No internet connection. Gotcha. Calendar. Charlotte. Charlotte's birthday pill. Oh, pill every single day. So this is June. So she's disappeared before Charlotte's birthday. All right. May. Doctor's appointment, doctor's appointment, doctor's appointment. That's a lot of doctor's appointments. Blood test. Oh no, are you pregnant? Did you have to get out of there to keep you and a baby safe? Mm, doctor's appointment. That's a lot of doctor's appointment. My birthday. You didn't start taking the pill till after that though. Otherwise it was pill, pill. Lots of pills. So she didn't take a pill for a long time, or at least didn't have a reminder. Which tells me that she probably got pregnant because doctor's appointments were soon after. Ben's birthday. Doctor's appointment. So I'm assuming on your birthday, you guys had some fun and it might not have turned out well. Elsa's birthday. Emma's birthday, doctor's appointment. You still have a lot of doctor's appointments though, damn. 
Alex's birthday vacation. Doctor's appointment. And then you started taking the pill. Gotcha, you weren't taking it before. Karaoke night at the space bar. Real estate exhibition? Oh, gotcha. Cardiology congress? Oh, those are the, the things. Okay, so she did call him and go to those things. Hair appointment. Gabriel's wedding. Carmen's birthday. Weekend with Emma. Train back from Wexterry. Train to Wexterry. Evening at the space bar. Arts and crafts fair. Evening at the space bar. Alright, so it starts at August. Alright, for now we're just chill in June then. I wonder if she had to terminate. Yeah, I wonder. Hmm. Alright. So I did all four of those. This is music, I'm assuming. There's no internet. Public free Wi-Fi open network. Alright, so it's not public. SIM card missing or unreadable. Alright. Oops. Erase all data! We all know how this is gonna end. Alright, so that's it. But apps! Alright. We did that. Email. We have not gone into email. Laura inbox. Power job. Hi, Laura. You received a message from Nadia A on power job while you were disconnected. Go to the power job website or power job messenger app to view it. Alright. My doctor in one click. You have booked an appointment with Dr. Wright on May 31st, 9 a.m. Thanks for booking my doctor in one click. My doctor in one click. Uh, May 26, 9.15. Sport & Co. Happy birthday, Laura. We're delighted that you have we have you as a client. Want to give you a lovely gift for your birthday. We're now offering you a 15% discount for your next purchase in your in-store at Eldewise, Eld Eldewise Center. Simply present your loyalty card at the checkout. The offer is valid until the end of the year with no minimum purchase required. Shop now. Power job. You received a new message from Clara from Power Job while you're disconnected. All right. Download more messages. German name for a very rare breed of flowers growing in the Alpine Mountains. Ooh, cool. Hi, Kurtz. Hello, hello. You like this hat too? Thank you. I just got it. Like, half hour ago. <laughs> Thank you. I liked the first game. This game, I haven't gotten too deep into it. I've just read some messages, so I don't know. I just know it's going to be about domestic abuse and how to overcome it. Weight loss isn't really a pregnancy thing. I didn't think so. Not to be all WebMD, but like cancer, maybe. Or just abuse, depression. Oh, cool. All right. Can someone type 6389856 for me, please? Diabetes, some pregnancies, you can lose weight from what I heard. That would be interesting. I don't know. Literal translation would be regal white. Really? Eh. Hey. Yes. 
six, three, eight, nine, eight, five, six. Thank you guys. Uh, check. I got connected as an achievement. Sweet. I don't know what this means. All right. Security chest. I have to sneeze again. What's my birthday? Counter. What's the counter for? 25? I don't, I don't understand. GPS localization is, okay. That's music. I want to know her birthday, but email. Download more messages. Ooh, I saw some anger in there. Hold up. I wanted to go to, oops, inbox. Ooh, it refreshed off it. Okay. So this is all I had seen. Claire F. Elsa. Adopt a kitten. Download to the gallery. I can't, but I look for, I'll forward this uh, mail to a friend. Gabriel doesn't want one. I want one. I always want kittens. They're so cute. Who wants one? My old neighbor wants to find a good home. Got you. Um, power job from Julian A. Paul Z. Tonight. Hi, gorgeous. Ooh, this is during. This is during being with, what's his name? Ben. Hi, gorgeous. I haven't been able to take my eyes off your cute little ass all week. Your dress looks, your red dress looked even better on you than the other times. I got the message. I really want you. So, baby, I'll be waiting for you at the hotel opposite tonight after work. What the fuck? Thank you for the bless, you guys. And thank you so much for the numbers. I can see time. Yes. Creep. Unless you wanted that, I guess. Ethan H. Super gift box. Your super gift box order number has been delivered with the following message. Hi, Alex. I hope you like your present. You can see at least I'm sending it to you on your real birthday. What's my fake birthday? I'm confused. December 12th. 12-12? Oh, wait. No, I lied. Wait, where is it? Hi, Alex. I'm not Alex, I'm Laura. Okay. Um, Michael J. Michael Jordan. Hi, Melanie. Hey, it looks like Kitty's mi meeting Elsa for a drink. How are, are you okay with that? What? I don't understand. Gabriel, he was at the space bar with Elsa, his ex. Doesn't that bother you? Oh, no, of course not. He told me he was meeting her and, and, and anyway, all that is ancient history. I trust him. But why do you call him Kitty? Uh, didn't you know we called Gabriel Kitty? It was a nickname we gave him during our school days. I really want to know the story behind his nickname. Ask him. Alright. Power job. Message from Emma M. Hello. Thank you for registering for the Zero Waste Conference. Uh, be held October 4th. Alright. With Ethan. Sent. Alex, you truly are a little shit. I don't know what made you do that, but I'll never forgive you. Seriously, what's your problem? It's because I'm finally happy with someone else and you can't get over it, right? You were, were you hoping I'd be miserable for the rest of my life without you? It was you who wanted, who wanted out and dumped me. You have no rights over my life. I can't believe this. I never thought even you would be capable of doing such a thing. Melanie, oh, ask him. Got you. Natalia. Here you go. Alright. Hmm. What happened? Who be Alex, right? Because they are not in our messages. Oh, they are. His birthdays for her. Uh, 
Oh, okay. That's all we knew. Hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of people who say Gunzoon tight. Yeah. Smexy time. Uh, is health. I mean, that's legit, though. That's amazing. Because we all know where Bless You came from. Alright. So, I don't understand what happened with Alex. And I'm a little confused right now. Nothing new there. Mm. Wait, let's try 12-12. Incorrect password. Some of the following information. Birth year of my first boyfriend. Office number. Oh my god. Some of? Hold up. I need a pen and paper. Jesus, you're gonna make me do math? How dare. How dare. Hold up. Alright, so. Birth year of my first boyfriend. Year. Boyfriend. Office number of my pen ultimate boss. Office number. Street number of place I met Amanda for the first time. The fuck? ambiguous AF. Okay, so that, I'm clearly, oops, not getting this right now. Um, birth year of first boyfriend. She kind of vaguely mentioned that. Oops. Birth year. <laughs> math? Oh, math, yeah. More math. All the math. Oops, I wanted, well here, that's me. I don't know if Alex, I'm assuming Alex is our first, but I could be wrong. She did mention something at some point, but. Laura's birthday is, I'm just gonna write this down. I don't know what age she is though. is April 14th. Oh god. In two days! <laughs> Alright. Ben's birthday? Which I don't think I need to know. Elsa? Emma's? Alex's is the 21st. Or 31st. But I don't know year. the year. That's some shit. Alright. Mm, inbox. Who the fuck's Paul Z? Doesn't say year. So I won't know that for a bit, I think. Charge of messenger. Who is this person? Wait, wait, what? Am I supposed to figure this shit out? Mother of God. It's a lot of names. Why is that my code to get in? Not okay. <laughs> Great.
Train to a duxury. Okay. So it's either me or Emma. All right. Yellow. I'm guessing this is me. Then wait, then what's her neighbor's name? Ah, shit. Laura's not one of them, is she? Maybe this is Emma then. This is Daniel. I have no idea who this is though. before I guess this. It's not Natalia. Charlotte maybe? No. Maya's given birth. So it's Sarah. Okay, Sarah. All right. <sighs> Done! I got social animal as an achievement. Um, excuse me, game. Yeah, excuse you. Uh, my neighbor's anguish for me is rising. What? Oh, because of the base. Well. Hate puzzles like this, need a lot of work to do it. I apparently figured out a, but I still haven't figured out the birth year, boyfriend, office number, and street number. I'm guessing street number is the 20 or the 22, but. Goddamn. All right, so, messenger, 26 years old, communications officer. Uh, yes. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. How do I get in? Oh, this. That's home. Okay. So. Oh, he's the guy that's been messaging. Okay. Wait, wait. You have no conversations. Okay. Cat checked you because I manage WOA events, and we're really interested in your profile. WOA events is an agency that provides hospitality staff for event organizers, trade fairs, conferences, etc. Thank you for the bits, Kaylin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All damn cupcake biddies. Thank you so much, guys. Don't let them chat for the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, nom, nom, nom. Thank you. All right. Um, they assist visitors, look after VIPs. Uh, monitor the entrances and exits, manage the cloakrooms, and generally ensure the events run smoothly. Would you be interested in working with us? Hi, thank you so much for contacting me. What role did you have in mind? I noticed your website that you have looking for a marketing manager and a digital communications assistant. I have a degree in communications. Uh, hi, sorry, but maybe the first message wasn't very clear. I was contacting you to offer a job as a member of our hospitality team. Oh, okay, I'm not really looking at the, I'm really looking for a job that matches my skills, but thank you for thinking of me. Good luck with the job search. I'm contacting you to see if you're still looking for hospitality for your staff. Sorry you haven't found a job that matches your qualifications. Alas, you're, the only, you're not the only one. However, I have to say this suits my company very well as we're always looking for new team members. Would you be available for an interview the afternoon of th at 3? Yes, I'll be there. Thanks. Hi, Laura. I'm, following, I'm calling you following our meeting and delighted to inform you that your profile matches our requirements perfectly. Would you be available this weekend? The event is an air show. If you're free, please call me. Hi, Laura. I noticed you haven't replied to these three contact, contract offers, so I assume you're no longer interested in working with our hospitality team. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you, Captain America. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, throw more love in chat. Thank you. Oop, it double clicked. Well, this is why. Thank you. Biddies. Um, please let me know if you're still looking for occasional work, and I'll keep sending you job offers. Hi, Adam. Sorry I'm no longer available. I just found a full-time position as a communications officer. Uh, but thank you for contacting me. That's great news. Congratulations. Good luck, and please get in touch if you're ever looking for a part-time employment. Again, I would love to work with you. All right. So, zero. Yeah, chef's assistant. All cute. Right. 
Oops. Amelia, so that's somebody in that picture. Profile professor, or biology professor. What is this, LinkedIn? Probably. Amelia's in that one picture, so if I need to know who the redhead with the curly hair is, I don't remember who the other person was, though. No messages. I... Uh, Amanda. Partner manager. Hi, Laura. I'm getting in touch because I'm a partnership manager at Enduro, uh, and we would like to discuss the possibility of collaboration with your association. The president of Enduro's niece is currently hospitalized at the hospital and has he has been able to see the beneficial effects of your association can have on children for himself. He therefore asked me to contact you to discuss how we may support your endeavors. Regards. Hey Amanda, thank you for contacting us. We are actually in the process of organizing a concert to raise funds for the association and are looking for companies willing to sponsor the event. Your logo would appear on the posters for the event. Would you like to discuss further? Hi Laura, we had something else in mind, skills sponsorship. Would you allow our staff to carry out some volunteer work for your association during their office hours? Regards. Uh, hi Amanda, that's an interesting proposal. What kinds of skills do your staff have to offer? Hi Laura, I have to say, as you mentioned, a fundraising concert. I would really like to help you organize it. Can we meet in the at the head office of your association so we can discuss it in person? I'm working from home at the moment. Can we maybe meet at your office? Well, maybe uh, we could take the opportunity to meet you meet away from the office. I know a really nice little tea shop. I can't remember the exact address, but it's in Pop it's in Poplar Street. Uh, on the corner of Market Way, there's a there's a mural on the street, and it's a door beneath the octopus. Are you free tomorrow? Whose office? Maybe that's the office number. Office number. Octopus. It's the one beneath the octopus. But 3 p.m. be good for you. Meeting on February 24th. Uh, Laura, it's in my diary. So great to meet you. I'm thrilled with the idea of organizing this concert together. Ah, huh, cool. We could. We have. S thought we'd have so much in common. Who would have thought? Well, I was thinking of going to see the exhibition I was telling you about tomorrow morning. Would you like to go with me? What a lovely idea. Can my boyfriend come too? Well, I'd rather he didn't. I really want to have girls only outing, as I may have some juicy things to tell you. Okay, I'll call you this evening to discuss the details. All right, Ben. Jesus, uh, he's consulting, business manager. He's 30 years old. Wait, what are we? 26. Okay, seems legit. Messages. Hello, I don't know if you remember me. Oh, but I'm the person who was working in the cloakroom at the trade fair you attended this weekend. I don't usually do this and feel really embarrassed, but I got the impression we really connected. So I was cheeky and searched for your profile and power job. If I imagine all this and was dreaming, please ignore the message and I apologize for my lack of professionalism. Of course I remember you, and you weren't dreaming. There was a spark between us. Phew, that makes me feel so much better. I've been wondering all day if I should write to you. I'm glad you did. I saw. I was sad at the thought of never seeing you again. That bad, huh? Even contacted the organizers of the show to find out who you were. What did they say? Someone told me the hospitality staff were hired through the events agency, but they could only give me the name of the agency, but I didn't dare call them because I was afraid they'd think I was a stalker or something. Wow, you sure do go to great lengths to find me. I'm really pleased, says the one who found him on a website. Do you want to meet up? Yeah, but I don't know when. I'm so busy at work at the moment. I'm working nonstop. Okay, so do you have time for lunch? No, I'm not kidding. I have a lots of business lunches and dinners at the moment. Otherwise, I eat at my PC, uh, so I won't, <clears throat> so I don't waste time. So why don't you come to my house on October the 31st, Halloween? Uh, I'm having a party with friends, not very romantic, I know, but they're a great bunch of people. Okay, well, my address is 10 Painter Road. That might not be the same though first boyfriend that wouldn't make sense but maybe all right come in disguise like a fancy dress evening yeah I'm going as a vampire because I'm wearing the same costume as last year but if you want to wear something a little more original then please do my friends will love it okay I'll try to find a funny outfit all right Carmen zero messages but you're adorable Maddie's kitchen fast food gotcha so she's a manager at a fast food 
Charlotte, we have 48. Pink Sunshine Kids Association. Okay, I need a drink. Hold up. Lots of reading. Yay for canceled plans. Hey! Welcome back, Frong. Just gonna lurk a bit overwhelming sadness hit and tears emerged. All the love. This is a great stream, by the way. All the love, Rain. We're here for you. Take care of yourself. All the lurking. Take care of yourself. Always take care of you. Hey, sorry to contact you via power job and not your official email, but I don't want guys in the IT department to read this message. Michael just called me for a meeting tomorrow. Has he asked you too? Did he contact everyone or just me? I'm freaking out here. I think he wants to talk to you about the email you sent the entire office. Huh? What email? You know, the video of you. Everyone's talking about it. Whoa, what video? The one that's a little, you know, risque, if you know what I mean. I thought it was a tad strange that you sent it to all your colleagues. Personally, I really didn't want to see you in that situation. What? You might have pressed the key by mistake to send something like that around the office. Who did you actually want to send it to? Do you have a lover within the association or something? Do tell. But I never intended to send a video to anyone. What's going on? Ouch. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened, but we all received an email with a video... I'd prefer not to have seen. I don't get it. Are you sure it's really me? Oh, it's really you. We can even hear your voice and you're saying things like, this video is just for you, my little bunny. Wait a second. My little bunny? That's what I used to call my first boyfriend. Is that Alex? Alex, maybe. Hence him not being cool. I made him a sexy video for his birthday when we were in a long distance relationship, but I was only 20 at the time and it was ages ago, but how could I have sent it to everyone at the office? It's not even in my outbox. 20 at the time. I don't know if that matters. She's 26 now. I'm going to write all this shit down so I don't have to backtrack. I think it was sent from... For his birthday. His birthday was... His birthday is 12-12. That I do know. I think it was sent from your personal email address. I just noticed the email address that wasn't from your work email. So what address was it sent from? Uh, it's not your private email either. Do you have another email address? It starts with Laura B. 1991. I don't have an email address like that. So maybe it's 1991? Maybe. Maybe someone's pretending to be you and they've done a convincing job. That's totally weird and gross. Good luck with your meeting with Michael, by the way. Oh my God, do you think he's seen it too? Probably. He's going to fire me. Just explain everything. I'm sure he'll be really understanding. I hope it all goes well. So what happened with Michael? Well, he was really understanding. I was so surprised. Go on. Okay. There's a lot more than I thought. Breaks the immersion that there are no chats on these phones like, wow, Amy Adams <laughs> named her daughter Juicebox. What the fuck? <laughs> That'd be amazing, Leiches. Uh, the moment you plan everything to the minute, then life is just like, fuck your plans. But at the same time, some people really like canceled plans. I was assuming Frong was excited, but I could be wrong. Because sometimes people really like it because then you just get to chill and relax. Maybe you didn't want to go out. But if you really wanted to do plans, I understand that, Sam. Bad X is bad. Seriously. Like, that's terrifying. Uh, nope. On the one hand, the situation is worse than I thought. The video hasn't been just sent to everyone in the association, but our business partners too. Wow, what a cock. Okay. And some of them have called Michael saying they don't feel comfortable working with us now and want to withdraw their sponsorship from the concert. So it's not just only horrible for me, but it's also putting the association at risk. It's just so embarrassing. I feel totally humiliated. But on the upside, Michael has been beyond simply understanding. He's shocked at what's happened to me and wants to give me as much support as possible. He's going to talk to everyone who made nasty comments. Some were behaving pretty inappropriately during the coffee break and said I could work from home until this blows over. That's an amazing boss. Like that is legit an amazing boss. Also, Michael may or may not be the boss that she was talking about. That's, like, really nice, actually. Most bosses are not that nice. And this situation was perfect. I would much rather hang out here than sit by myself in an auto shop. Hey, Frong. 
That's what I was wondering, because I know some people are excited by cancel plans, so I wasn't sure. I know it depends for me. If I was really excited to do it, but otherwise if I'm like, hey, I don't have to go out, I can chill. <laughs> I can get work done. Okay, but yeah, the X is a pile of crap. Okay. Charlotte, uh, so he's not getting rid of you, but doesn't want you at the office either. I don't see it that way. It was a suggestion, not an order. But anyway, I was so mad at the person who sent this video. Have you any idea who it could be? Well, it kept me up all night, but really don't know. I don't get the feeling I have any enemies. Do you think it could be someone from the association who wants my job? Hmm, is that even a possibility? Charlotte? Is it Charlotte? Or maybe someone from the outside the office, someone I studied with who wants to apply for my job. That could also be true. I'm mad as hell. I want to find this person and file a complaint against them. You're right. Anyways, it's someone who was able to access your work contacts in this video. Me. So you said it was a video you made for your ex, so I guess he kept it. Well, it's possible, right? Would he have a reason to hurt you? No, I don't think so. Or maybe your email account was hacked. Actually, no, it doesn't make any sense. A hacker would have used it to blackmail you. I can't bear to think about it anymore. I feel physically sick. I would. I would not be comfortable with that. I have an anxious feeling in the pit of my stomach. I can't breathe. Come on, let's go to the terrace out for a break. No, I just want to go home. Michael's suggestion was a really good idea. I have to chill out. I can't stop looking at everyone in the office and thinking that the best they've all seen me naked and the worst case is they them has violated my privacy and is having a great time exposing it to the world. I understand that. Go home and relax. Call me if you need. All right, curious. Boss is MVP at the moment, stay that way, right? Most bosses would not be so understanding. Asshole coworkers, it's true. Hello, Clara, sure say Amanda. Seriously, what is this crap? I saw your profile on Ben's contacts. Your name isn't Amanda, is it? You're one of Ben's old friends. He told me you were crazy, but I still find it hard to believe you created a fake account to initiate friendship with me. So what precisely did you hope to achieve? I can explain everything. Yeah, you better. And I can't wait to see what Ben says when I tell it to him. I'm sorry I lied to you, Laura, but I had to find a way to talk to you without Ben knowing. Don't tell him you know me right away, will you? Trust me. How can I trust you if you've been lying to me for weeks? Ben isn't the guy you think he is. He's a bastard of the worst kind. I was friends with him and his ex, Julia. His ex, Julia. Ben, oh my God, so many names. I'm gonna run out of space. Ben and Julia. All right. Goddamn. He was constantly undermining her. Uh, he manipulated her. He manipulated all the people around her, so they kept her. They kept their distance, so she was never next. Ooh. So he wants her, Laura, all to herself. So he managed to get the. I bet you he managed to get the video, and he's a dick. Hi, Spiegelicious. Hello, hello. Best way to prevent nudes to be leaked onto the internet. Don't send nudes through the web. Exactly. Although, I will say, teenagers can be stupid. Not saying I was one of them. Maybe I was. Luckily, it was to one person. And if they ever got leaked, fuck it. First of all, you shouldn't possess it. Nobody else should possess it or whatever. I don't remember how old I was. And I don't think I was ever fully nude. Thank God. So I was I was I was not comfortable with that, luckily. But I know some teenagers who were. I was luckily at least in like enough that was a bikini. So I'm lucky. But I know a lot of people who weren't that were friends. And that could be that's like also on like borderline child pornography. You guys gotta be careful if you teens. Don't send any pictures. Don't do it. Fun fact. One time my cousin was secretly recorded having sex with a girl he met. She uploaded to Facebook and tagged him. She was even trying to send it to people on Facebook Messenger. What the fuck? He had to delete his Facebook and call my mom in tears. So she ran damage control to tell people it was a fake video. That's horrible. What the fuck's her problem? 
What was the purpose of it? Did she hate him? Fire will cleanse the mistakes of the past. It's true. I just finished watching your name. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what your name is. What is it about? Without spoilers. And my cousin was either 20 or 21 and he was in the army. Oh, that's horrible. What the fuck? I'm so sorry, Chris. It's sorry for your cousin. That sucks. That's hard. Jeez. Oh my jeez. And I have to say I'm really lucky. Since high school, the only people I've been with are Shy Guy and River. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so it'll be really awkward if uh if we ever aren't together for whatever reason. After I watched it in the end, I did feel we were feeling inside like pain and I cry like why? I don't cry easily. Ooh, interesting. So it's gonna make me cry is what you're saying. It's okay for me, I hate myself too much to ever even put it. Ernie, love yourself, damn it. Love yourself. <laughs> no idea, they had never met. What the fuck? So she's just bash it. Your name is the English title for an anime movie. Oh God, I would cry. I got you. I think that sounds like, as it, what? I think it counts as it. Revenge illegal a revenge is illegal to my knowledge I did like it much and it was interesting Ooh, good to know so good to know I'll cry but good to know it was good and interesting <laughs> Ernie knows it oh god apparently it's a lot of tears okay constantly undermining her he manipulated her he manipulated all the people around her so they kept her distance their distance he isolated her, spied on her, and caused her to lose all her self-esteem. Sounds familiar. Although she doesn't seem to have lost her self-esteem, but isolating her. He's not a nice guy. I was trying to get close to you because I wanted to warn you. I did nothing to help Julia and still regret it to this day that I didn't intervene. I don't want the same thing to happen to you. I'm sorry I used to fake identity to approach you, but I was worried he'd already told you about me. And you didn't want, or, and you didn't wouldn't listen to me if you knew who I was. I wanted to talk to you first to find out if he was behaving as badly towards you as he did with Julia. You're just saying that to break us up. You don't, you want him for himself, don't you? Now that I think about it, it was you who sent the video. Do you have the faintest idea what the con of the consequences of your actions? Um, on my life, my career, most of all my associate, the association, I could understand if you wanted to hurt me out of jealousy, but the damage to the organization that helps sick kids, you're a monster. Oh my god, you're naive AF. You don't give a damn about this association. You don't care about sick kids. That stuff about your boss and his niece in the hospital was all lies. Do you at least work at Endro? Yes, I really do work at Enduro, and no, but no, the boss doesn't have a niece in hospital, and I took some days off work to come and help you, but what's this all about a video? Don't act as if you don't know what I'm talking about. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Someone created a false email account in the name, in my name, and sent an erotic video of me to the employees and partners of the association. Someone tried to harm you, and you don't know who it is. It's probably Ben. It sounds like the same kind of manipulative game he likes to play. Try entering his birth year as a password to that fake email account. That's the phony password he uses for everything that doesn't require enhanced security. It works. There are even replies I hadn't seen yet. Well, there you go. He sent the video. You mustn't trust him. I bet he sent, spent long evenings consoling you about the aftermath of this video. He was tender, sweet, understanding, and he felt like he was so supportive and the only one you could count on. So now he's got you even more tightly in his clutches. No, stop, no, stop. It was you who created the fake email account. You chose the birth year to, as a password to make me think it was him because you're trying to turn me against him and you're actually the one behind all this, you dirty rat. Don't ever talk to me again or I'll end the president. I'll tell the president of Endero that you're telling lies about him and using your work position to settle a personal score. You don't have to believe me, but don't say anything to Ben. I'm scared for you. He became extremely violent with Julia when she wanted to leave him and now I really regret not intervening. Please don't tell him anything and change the password to your power job account so he doesn't see these messages. Wow. Our character is in denial. 
I can understand that. That's really scary to find out. And I will say, I had a friend who tried to make me see that a boyfriend of mine at the time was being really manipulative. And I fully saw it. No joke, I fully saw it. And then he somehow, I don't know. Like, there's something about mental manipulation when you're in love with someone, you just so don't fucking see it. Um, he convinced me that my friend was just being just jealous that we were spending some time together or whatever and just wanted to hurt me or whatever and um so like basically like why would you believe her how could you believe her over me i love you why would i treat you like that why would i manipulate you to make like whatever and so i full-on was like how could you do this to me to my friend to my fucking best friend since third grade and we were this was sophomore year in high school i fucking believed him over her I don't understand why our brains work that way sometimes and it's so infuriating and I wish I had seen how fucking manipulative he was at the time. Then I found out he was lying to all of his friends about me because he was embarrassed that we were long distance and stuff like because we were states and states apart at 16. It wasn't gonna happen but oh my god did I not see how manipulative it was. Anytime we got in a fight he got me to apologize and see how it was my fault every single time for a fucking year. And I didn't see it. And we didn't even break up because of that. He broke up with me because he couldn't handle the long distance. Because he watched, um, fucking an anime. I can't remember the name of the anime. The girl has red hair. Uh, uh, I can't remember. He watched that and said that's the reason because he couldn't have me to hold. So he needed to break up with me. Yeah. You sometimes don't see it's happening. And I didn't see it happening. We think she may have been after him because he was in the army. Like, she wanted to him kicked out or wanted to soil the name of the military. What the fuck? It's ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Hi, Vader. Hello, hello. Breach of personal personal rights. Yeah, personality rights? I think you mean personal rights. <laughs> I did get my Blu-ray yesterday from post. A. With every tear. Oh, our characters in denial. Yeah, uh, my eyes are feeling heavy right now. Legit. Still confused why I cried. Crying is weird for me. I heard from my parents that I was even a child kind of emotionless. Aww. Speak delicious. Well, clearly it touched something. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Pitchforks and torches, right? Everyone's bonkers in that game. I'm done. Oh, in this game? Or which game? Which game? Welcome back for a bit, Demo Worm. Yeah. I did watch Girl Who Leapt Through Time yesterday. It did also come. Hey, cool. My boyfriend's last girlfriend was very abusive. She convinced him that I was trying to break them up and I was abusive to him. She blocked me on his Facebook and made me block, made him block my number. I was about six to seven months before he talked to me again. Sometimes you like, it sucks. Yeah. Who's a messed up kid? It's like, it's easy to say, oh my god, she's so blind, but at the same time, I'm like, this has fucking happened to me, and I didn't realize what was happening to me. Like, I could have easily have seen this kid that was with me being abusive physically, because he was so manipulative over the phone. I just didn't see it, because there's just something about the mind trickery, mind fuckery, that you don't see it. And I actually met his friend years later, and like, talked to his friend. And his friend actually, because his friend was trying to find out the truth, found out that this dude was a liar. So he was trying to talk to me and find out the truth and then found out so much of what he had lied about about me. And apparently he used to brag to all of his friends about how he got me to apologize to him even though he was the asshole. Like apparently he used to fucking brag about it. He knew what he was doing. Fuck the people who do this shit. Like, let's not try to say like, you know, like she's like, she's so stupid because she didn't see it. We don't know. Like, we don't know we're being manipulated. We don't know that we're being abused mentally or physically. Like, it's really hard when you justify it because they convince you to justify it. It's really hard to know, like, to know the difference, especially when they convince you. Like, it's really scary how fucking good people like that are at, are at it. So we just have to, like, support each other and try and get each other to see the truth. Because... And it may be frustrating to try and get that friend to see the truth, and they might not see it, but all you can do is help. All Claire is trying to do is help. It's hard. Hi, Furious Bearcat. Hello, hello. This game said Bella Coco. Yeah. But unfortunately, this shit happens in real life. It happened to me. It legit happened to me. Not as extreme. And when I was a lot younger. 
but it's scary how easy it is sometimes. So guys, no, like, this is like a prime example. If this has happened to you or you see this as a like mirror of you or a friend or something like that, it's warnings, warnings. Boyfriend and I talk about it sometimes, what happened. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys got past it. The well-planned and executed same. Got you. Yeah. Uh. Can hear you now? What do you mean? Uh, we had to talk for a while because I was hurt. So hurt, too. I can understand why. Hi, Sakamai. Hello, hello. Mental abuse. Had fun being the bad guy last year when my best friend's fiance showed signs of being a manipulative dick. Yeah, like, and unfortunately, being the friend who's trying to help your friend, you get seen as the dick. But it's like, what would you rather be, the person who helped them and was a dick? Or, I mean, honestly, the only thing you can do is have, like, an intervention. But it'll be interesting to see how Laura gets past it. I'm curious to see how they're going to show it. I think this is really important because I for I always forget I went through that. And it was a fucking year. It was literally the boyfriend right before Shy Guy. And I had a really hard time getting over him. Really stupid hard time. And I shouldn't have. Okay, that's a fucking cock. Take it, that's what this game is about. Yeah, this game is about um, manipulated, like uh, noticing manipulation in relationships and abuse. I don't know if it's physical. It hasn't shown signs of that yet, but it could lead up to that. Um, but it's showing signs of domestic abuse and um, how to handle it, or um, at least in a positive light, how to handle it or recognize it. Because I saw a lot of the reviews were really positive and saying like it can help you, but it can also be really hard for people that have been through it. So yeah. Welcome back the Ruiner. Uh, we're kind of figuring out, well, we figured out a lot of information about people, um, but we're figuring out that her current boyfriend, Laura's current boyfriend, Ben, is really good at manipulation and isolation and blackmail without actually you knowing he's doing it. So we're trying to, like, find out what happened to Laura because she just found out from Claire that it might be. Being manipulated like that is even worse when you realize you burnt most bridges behind you because of manipulation and happen to find yourself all alone. Yeah, and that's what their plan was all the time, and that's what's even more frustrating. Luckily, my friend stayed with me. I'm very, very lucky, but goddamn. I mean, we're not friends now, but we were still at the time after me and that. I mean, I wonder if that's how we got distant, because we did start to get distant just after that relationship, too, so curious. But okay you don't have to believe oh right i already read that okay so claire daniel s zero messages um daniel emma three hi laura so i saw your profile that you're currently working for woa events What's it like there? I'm sick of finding nothing in communications. It's pretty good and the boss is so nice. He's always looking for more staff. Why don't you go and see him personally? His number is, his office number is 107. Interesting. And tell him I sent you, his name is Adam. Thanks, I'll do that tomorrow, I owe you one. Adam is her boss. Wait, I thought it was Michael. Oh, that's the other, okay. Wait, wait. I don't, I'm getting confused, it's fine. I'm trying to write all this down. Ethan. Wait, wait, what are you? Oh God. Zed, Zeduia? 
Hi, Ethan. I'm contacting you again. I don't know if you remember me, but we met at your Zero Waste conference last October. I was the girl with the dark hair you were chatting to for an hour after the conference. I now work with Pink Sunshine Kids Association, which aims to bring fun and happiness to the lives of children who are hospitalized long term. And I'm wondering if this is a cause that would interest that organization. We'll soon be organizing a fundraising a concert for the association and are looking for companies that would be interested in sport sponsoring the event. Your logo would appear on the concert posters. Hi, Laura. Of course I remember you. And we might... Uh, very well be interested but I'll have to talk to the boss because he'll want some more details who will be handling the concert and where is it how many people are you expecting to attend we've already booked Cedric Men Menendez and we're in negotiations with Antoine 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 uh, Gerlet to headline the concert will be held at the municipal auditorium in Ed Ed Edgerton town hall which can seat up to 5,000. Sounds great. I think my boss will be really interested. Can you send the full details of the event to Ethan? Sent. Hi. As I haven't heard from you, I thought I'd send a little reminder. What was your boss say? Hello. I must admit we were quite surprised by the message you sent me. Unfortunately, I'm afraid we can't aspire to the same things and I regret we can't be associated with your event. I'm assuming that's about the porn. Great. I don't know what that is. Talk about relatable. Yeah. One of my mom's nieces has a husband that has manipulated her so bad that the family isn't allowed around her. Oh, Moonlight Gamer, I'm so sorry. That's so hard. How is everyone? Hopefully this kind of subject doesn't get folks to... Yeah, don't get too down. This is like at least a way to recognize it and to help yourself or help others around you. I knew someone who I thought uh, was a friend who kept me feeling unvalued. Right. Uh feeling oh uh, wait hold up oh god the chat moved on me uh she would throw walls of text at me to the point where i'd forget what my problem was and then some form of you know it's unhealthy for you to have a problem with anything i do huh weird to have a problem with anything i do what the fuck that's so weird i'm so sorry themo I'd forgotten that singing helps with my mood. That's good. Sing all you can. Sing the best you can. Uh... All right. Oh God, it made the thing, I clicked off on accident. I was trying to get chat back. I'm sorry, hold on. Let me get it back. There we go, music's back. All right. So, Ethan, zero for Gabriel, which is Kitty. Julian, three. Hey, you're a real naughty girl, aren't you? It's really turning me on. So you're ignoring me. You can't own up to it, is that it? You flirt with everyone at the office, but I'm not good enough for you, filthy bitch. What the fuck? Julian's an asshole. Michael J president so yeah this is the good guy in theory hi laura i hope all is well with you i'm contacting you because anastasia is going to maternity leave and i thought you might be interested in replacing her during this period we really would like to work with someone who knows our company structure so they can get up to speed very quickly and as you did an excellent job during your internship and things haven't changed much since 2014 i think you'd be a perfect person to replace her the job would mainly involve contacting former sponsors and patrons of the association to ask them to provide that some funding again what do you think it was certain january Hi, Michael. Thanks for offering me this wonderful opportunity. I'd love to work with the association again, and I'm really happy for Anastasia. Great. Why don't you drop by the office so we can discuss uh, this week when we can have some time and we can discuss. All right. Nadia. Uh, IT manager. Hi, Nadia. Charlotte told me you'd be able to explain how to save the content stored on my work phone. Could you help me? Sure. What content do you want to save and what purpose? I like to be able to keep content like, for example, specific SMS messages, notes, etc., and then access the content from elsewhere, even if it's been deleted from my work phone. Okay, open cloud. Oh, God. So this is something I'm going to have to do. Great. Julia can suck. Beep. All right. Uh, so. 
There's a lot of puzzles that are going to be interesting. The hell? My boyfriend's friend has tried to manipulate him into breaking up with me and going out with her. What the fuck? Manipulation, guys. Protect yourselves. This is a place of sexual harassment. Apparently. God damn. Uh, wrong tag. <laughs> yes, paper boats. What? Amazing. Uh... That's legit. Take care, Spiegelicious. Thank you for stopping by. Take care, take care. Get all that sleep. Yes. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna have to do. It's all very clear, thanks. Cloud save app on your phone. If it's the first time you've used this app, choose a password that will be associated with your save. Now tick all the items you want to save. Got you, which I did. Confirm everything you have selected and will be sent to the cloud. To access your saved content from elsewhere, use another phone, install an open cloud save app on the second phone, enter the email address associated with your work phone, and the password you chose. Select the saved content you want to sync to your second phone. The content of your phone, work phone, will be downloaded to the second phone with a small cloud icon to indicate that it's content retrieved from the cloud. Feel free to ask me. Email address. The content from your phone will be downloaded to the second phone. Okay, I'll have to come back to that. Robin. Hello, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laura. I work at Pink Sunshine Kids Association and replacing Anastasia while she is on maternity leave. I've been looking through Anastasia's notes and understand she approached Frenti uh, to sponsor our fundraising concert. I've haven't been able to find a record for your response to contact details, so I'm contacting you through PowerJob. I wonder if you have an you've had an opportunity to consider the proposal. Apologies in advance if you've already responded to Anastasia. Hi, Laura. Nice to meet you. Please contact me at Robin Frontier so we can discuss further. Hi, I'm contacting you again regarding the fundraising concert we are organizing. I noticed you haven't responded to my email, so I was just checking to receive see if you received them. I did receive them, and yeah, sure, I'll sponsor your concert if we can meet you backstage after the- If I can meet you backstage after the show? I'm sorry. Don't play innocent with me, you know exactly what I mean. Cox. Sarah. Zero. Okay. Hairdresser! Hey. Alright. Alright, so wait, apps. Security chest. So I'm still trying to figure out security chest. I don't have all the other things. They're all open. Huh. I don't know what counter is still. So. Some of the following information. Birth year of my first boyfriend. So if 1991 is his birthday at 30. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Alex. I'm guessing our first boyfriend was Alex. So he's 26. Map. 07, 1997 is 20. So 1992? So calculator! Wait, 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 wait. The only street number I got was 10. So the one under the octopus. So it'd be 24, probably. 24. So.
Office number of my penultimate boss. Penultimate. I'm guessing 24. Street number of the place I met Amanda for the first time. So I'm guessing 10. Okay. Wait, wasn't there a lot more? Oh, I guess it was in the other one. I know a really nice tea shop. I don't remember the exact address, but it's Poplar Street. February 24th. February 24th. Mm. Oh. We didn't we didn't uh actually meet. Fuck okay. it. All right. 1992. He's 26 right now. So I think we, okay. 1992 plus, keep going. I love you. Have fun. Um, plus 24. Plus ten. Two twenty six. Twenty twenty six. Maybe. Damn it. Has he had his birthday yet? Maybe not. So nineteen ninety three. Wait, wait. If he's twenty six. In 2017. 17, so not 2000. Yeah, so. He's 26 right now in 2000. Office number of pen ultimate. What's pen ultimate? Second to last. 26 and he was definitely born in 1991. Okay, cool. But I did try that, so...
Second to last. Oh, okay. Second to last boss, then, is not Michael, to my knowledge. That would be... Who is her second to last boss? Adam? Yeah, so it'd be Adam. So it's office number of Adam. Is your how did I meet you? Okay. Charlotte was just gossip. Well, that. Second to last, yeah. Boss's room was not 104. I think it was said in an email. Ooh, let me see. Hi, Theron. Hello, hello. Let me see. That maybe? Oh, uh, what did I need to know? That's Amelia to Natalia. Tell someone to meet your boss. Oh, that was a uh, somebody. Emma, did you see? Get and did you meet my boss? Yeah, it didn't go that great. Said he could have told me it was a labyrinth, even with his office number. Emma. Emma, Emma. So office number is 107. So it is 107. So. Thank you. Thank you, Theron. All right. So let's try it again. Oops. 1981 plus 107 plus 10. 2108. 2108. So the street number that place I met Amanda for the first time is wrong. Great. So street number... Okay, I'll try that too. 2109. Oh, Oops. 9. No. Did I do it right? Okay. So I think the street number is wrong. So 
So it's the street number I met Amanda on. Which is the most ambiguous one. for my own phone but works out of battery i'm running a little bit late can we make it three thir or 30 this is march 29th it seems like that's a bit late but march 29th didn't talk about that either okay nor do you have a pill for that one I haven't had her birthday, it would be. I think he was 1990. His birthday was coming up, maybe. So that would be night. It would be 2108. I think I did that one. Oh, 107. sure I'm doing the addition right. So it's for sure 107. Oops. Oops. Yeah, but it didn't work. God damn it. So it's got to be just... It's still got to be the street number that's wrong then. Because those are for sure right. Poplar, can I see GPS? GPS! Poplar Street on the corner of Market Way. Poplar Street, corner of Market Way. Poplar Street, corner of Market Way. Street. Is it Laura? L for Laura? Stop that. Letters. I need a map. She describes what the outside of the place looks like. The other thing. Oh, maybe that was the same thing. I don't think so, though. Large mural on the street. Oh, my God. No. So, okay. Oh, this is. I got them mixed up. It's 24. Thank you. Theron, you're really observant. Thank you. Hold on. Um.
It's 212. It's 1990. By the way, it's not 1991. It's 1990. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Our messenger cloud save. It, it was easy to guess just one below or one above anyway, so that's not a big deal. Nope, it wasn't 2122. Two, two. It was 2121. It was 1990. <laughs> Trey might be a little behind. All right. <laughs> so, Carmen. All right. Now time to progress. Finally. I think this is the last section, too. I could be wrong. It was the end of December. Yeah, it was December 31st. So. So you wouldn't turn the age yet. Yeah. That must have been it. All right. Uh, Carmen, I can't remember. Is there air con in your restaurant? Sure, in the cold storage room. Yeah. It really is hot in my apartment. My brain is melting. I can't write my cover letters. There are fans in the restaurant. The Wi-Fi is free. And you can have a refill of free juice, fresh juice, whenever you want. Okay, I'll grab my laptop and be right there. Uh, you'll never guess what job offer I got yesterday. Job working communications department at the museum? Even better, my dream job. A member of hospitality team at a trade fair. Yay. Okay, so that's WoW events again, right? You work with them a lot, don't you? Yeah, but it's a pain in the ass. I've been working with them for over a year now and have zero career prospects, even though the boss is well aware that I want a job in communications. Surely there would have been a job available somewhere during that time, right? Well, a job's a job, and it's always good enough until you find something better, don't you think? Yeah, that was really detailed. I didn't think the game would be so specific about the date. Yeah, really detailed. Yeah, but it's a crappy job. It's useless on my CV pays the bills and you can't be accused of sitting around doing nothing while waiting for your next big job well I have to go I'll be it'll be rush hour at the restaurant soon XOXO Lori coming to mom's this Saturday mm, I don't really feel like it okay okay are you going of course mm, in that case I'll get ready I'll bring my stuffed zucchini oh yeah that ought to motivate me happy birthday I made a cake tonight for tonight I called the communi communications company I applied to and rejection Oh shit, did you ask why? Yeah, I got the usual. Interesting profile, but not enough experience. I feel really down. Don't I know that pain? Come on, girl, you'll find something eventually. Have you finished your day at the trade fair? Yeah, they're dismantling the stand now, so I'm going to get my stuff and leave. How was it? Last time you had some jerks coming on to you when you were working. Not this time, but hmm? there was a guy that seemed quite nice, Ben. I didn't get ooh, I didn't get his last name, but I do have his company name and first name. Ben from Zentoac Consulting. You do you like him? Yeah, I do. Well, you can you you can find him on Power Drop, can't you? That's true. Don't I look like a weirdo stalker? Or maybe just a little. If you get the feeling he's not interested, you can always apologize. He can block you if he doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. Another job rejection. I'm so fed up. Keep going. You'll find something. Laura, did you see the trailer for Tears of the Moon? Yeah, it was so cool. It looks so cool. It's playing in a movie theater near me. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Hi, huh, great minds think alike. Oh my god, did they send it? They did send it at the same time. You're free on the second, right? It's my day off. Can you look up screening times? There's one for 3 p.m. on Friday. Should we meet in front of the movie theater in 15 minutes beforehand? Okay, let's do that. Or right, Carmen, yes? A little problem here. I can't find the keys to Ben's apartment. Where do you usually put them? They're normally in the door. Oh wait, I think I know where they are. I'll check and get back to you in five minutes. Laura? I can't find them. Ben isn't answering. He must be in a meeting. Conveniently so. Do you have a spare set of keys? No. Damn, will you be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. It's just a shame. Plus, it's your day off. Never mind. We'll do it some other time. Carmen, are you doing anything tomorrow night? No, why? I've been contacted by the Pink Sunshine Kids Association. You were an intern there, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the place. Ooh, tell all. They want to hire me. I start in January. Ooh, corks, cork, yeah, champagne bottles. Wait, I'll call you. Carmen, I have to call you. Something truly horrendous has happened at work. I really have to talk to you. Laura, I just saw your missed calls. I'll call you. Carmen, have you got a minute? Yeah, it's fine. We don't have too many customers, and the, c the others can manage for a moment. What's the problem? 
What's the latest your period has ever been? Oh, or I don't know, three or four days maybe? Okay, I haven't had my period. I haven't had my period during my pill-free days. Oh, have you done a test? I bought one at a drugstore, it was negative, but I don't know if I left it uh, long enough and I also forgot to take my pill a few times. Okay, a few times? Like two weeks. I'm freaking out here. I don't want a baby right now. I don't know if I want a kid with Ben right now. It'll all be fine. We'll work it out. First, go and have a blood test. The drugstore testing kits aren't always reliable. Laura? I'll call you. Can you call me when you have a second? Okay. Oh, my word. <laughs> Oh God, does she have an ovarian cancer? Oh my God, that would be really sad too. I don't know, this is all just sad anyway, no matter what. Hi, I sent you a parcel, did you receive it? No, I haven't yet, but I paid for express delivery. I'll let you know when I get the moment I get it. It's here, it, says, it has birthday, do not open, written on the package, is that right? Can I open it now or do I have to wait six months? I know I'm a tad late, but it was intentional. Tomorrow it will be exactly six months after your birthday. Oh, so I can actually open this parcel? Tomorrow. Alex, thanks! Antoine Garlet's uh, latest album. Ah! Ha uh, very merry on birthday to you, by the way. It's all I've been able to listen to all day. I'm, uh, hi, I'm starting work at the Emperor restaurant today. I'm stressed out. Damn, we missed each other. I'm sure it will all go fine. It was okay. Alex, you're not at work? Or, no, day off to today, but I'm going out, so I won't be home for much longer. You're going out? A romantic date with your girlfriend at a cozy little cafe? Hmm, well, that's not going to happen. It, really? More or less broke up two weeks ago. Things weren't working out between us. We didn't like the same things, and we didn't have the same goals. But don't worry about it. It's cool. Oh. Well, anyway, everything's fine. Don't worry. I feel dumb. Why? I was going to tell you about my love life, but never mind. No, I'm interested. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, tell me everything. I met someone about a month ago. He's called Ben. What's he like? Honestly, he's kind of uh, the guy who will check on you to see if everything's okay at least once a day and things like that. He, and he loves my cooking, too. Cool, I'm happy for you. Are you sure you don't mind me talking about my relationship? Sure, no problem. Cool. Okay, gotta go. I have to finish getting ready. See you later. Laura, what's all this about an email? What happened? Are you kidding me? Go ahead, play innocent. Laura, I have no idea what you're talking about. At least tell me what you're accusing me of. You know full well what you sent to all the people at work, at the office, and to my work contacts. I don't know what your problem is, but you're a little shit. Okay, so why don't you just calm down and explain what this is all about? Calm down? You're such a jerk. You, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I would have had a lot of different words, but I'm just disappointed in myself that I didn't notice earlier. What are you talking about, Laura? Do you want me to spell it out or what? Yes, please. The sex video I sent you when we were together. Okay, firstly, do you think I actually kept it? Two, why would I send it to your work contacts? And anyway, how could I get a hold of your contacts? Are you kidding me? Who else would have, would have that video, huh? It's one thing that you're a moron, but the fact you're too much of a coward to admit what you've done, you're gross. Okay, listen, just for a moment, and you'll realize it couldn't have been me. One, I don't have contacts, access to your contacts, and even on power job, it would be, it would take a crazy amount of time and too much research to find them. Two, I have no reason to do that to you. If I was pissed off that we weren't together anymore, I wouldn't do something like that for you, to you, years later. Three, let's say I did want to hurt you in some way. I would never have used that video which would immediately point to me as the prime suspect. So I'll leave you to think about it. Have a nice day. Laura, I know you've seen my messages. Please answer me. Hey Alex, I dozed off yesterday, but having slept on it, I realize makes, it makes no sense to accuse you. I'm sorry I shouldn't have done that. I'm exhausted and mad at the whole world. It would have been easier for me to pr process it, uh, process if it had been you. At least I would have had some idea of who it was because no one had access to that video except you and me. Please don't hate me. Oh, it's cool. I guess you're pretty stressed out and unfortunately, no, it wasn't me. Either fortunately and unfortunately. Either someone's hacked your account or has direct access to your computer and phone. If I were you, I'd start by changing all your passwords and then set a p password to lock your PC and phone if you haven't done that already. And for your phone, you should download security chest. That's what I accessed. 
It's an app where you can, if I could have gotten into it, so could have been, anyway. It's an app where you can hide all the applications you don't want people to access, so I hope that'll help a little. Thanks so much once again, my humblest apologies. Hey, sorry I haven't been in touch for a while. I hope you're okay. Do you know how to choose secure passwords? No, I'm not sure, uh, or I'm not sure. Uh, but what I do know is that long passwords are more secure. It contain, at least needs to contain eight characters. It can't be easy to crack. If you, you have to avoid obvious sequences like A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four, or your birthday, or that kind of stuff. At least eight characters? My brain is in meltdown at the moment, and I may not be able to remember, remember them. Hmm, just choose something you use every day. For example, a password you use on your phone followed by another code you use regularly. I use the code for my alarm that I have to reset every time I enter the restaurant. Thanks! I hope that's not something I have to do later, I swear to god. I don't like how the convenient things are happening with Ben. So it's either she's pregnant or she has cancer. Yeah, no good options here. Yeah, none. Uh, Emma. Jesus! Spice and beans. Coffee at the beans and spice. I read that so well. Alex seems like a cool guy. He really does. And at least he was understandable about all the mean things she was saying. That was cool of him. Aw, oh, yeah. Been a so long since I've had Aja tea. Or Aja. You can order You can order to go now. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, are you running tonight? Yeah, Orchid Park. Do you want to come? Yeah, yeah. Should I drop by your place before we go? No, you stay home. It's on the way there. <clears throat> Beans and spice? Go, 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 go. It's in Library Park tonight. Okay, see you later. Want to see a movie? There are lots. There'll be lots of people from ICOM. Who show what's showing? It's a B-movie festival. It starts with the return of the skeleton woman. Ah, uh, sounds great. Uh, is that the early evening screening? Is it an early evening screening? Yes. Okay, see you there. Is the party at Ting's? Ting's? Uh, yeah. Do you know where it is? Nope. Well, I'll drop by my place and we'll go together. Want to go jogging? It's been a while. I'll come to your apartment in 30 minutes. Narrow, la Narrow Lanes Park? I've never been there, but okay. Emma, you're coming to Space Bar. You have no choice. There's an 80s karaoke night. Oh, yeah. Uh, it starts at the same time as usual. Meet us at the bar? Okay. The weather's nasty. Yes. Dr. Cupcake? Dr. Cupcake. See you in 15 25 minutes. I like Emma. Antoine Gerla is playing at the Soundbirds Festival tomorrow. Hmm, it's not really my kind of music, but Ipono Mertanico will be playing too? Ooh, why didn't you say so? Show me or at gate three? I'll call you and see if I can find you. I've had a big clear out and there are lots of clothes I don't wear anymore. I thought they might suit you. Do you want to drop by and take a look? Oh, is your apple green blouse with the flowers on it in the discard pile? Yeah, it doesn't fit me anymore. Oh, I'll snap up that bargain then. Hi, do you want to go on a double date to the movies restaurant next week? I don't know if Ben will want to go. He's been on a little on edge recently. But when you told me about him at the tea shop last time, it sounded like you were both madly in love. Yeah, we still are, but he can be a bit exhausting at times. Just the other day, he made a big scene because I sent Alex a gift for his birthday. Alex, your ex-boyfriend? Yes. Well, it is kind of bizarre. Really? Yeah, I think it's pretty strange that you're still friendly with your ex to send him gifts. I don't understand how that's strange. I understand why some people are and why some people are. I it's difference. And also why you broke up. That can really mean... Uh, that's fine. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Well, things are fine when we were together and fine when we broke up, so why not stay friends? Yeah, but you're not exactly helping Ben trust you, are you? Emma, you're not helping. There's another man in your life who you were in an intimate relationship with before and you're still sending him birthday gifts and he's not a family member. Mm, okay, I get your point. Hi, Laura. Are you coming to the party at Kitty's? No, I don't feel like it. I'm so tired. Too bad. Everyone will be there. I'm totally exhausted. The only thing I feel like doing is going home and crawling into bed. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, my God. Yeah, Alex does seem cool. Emma, don't betray. I'm tired of the surprise jerks. I don't think Emma's being a jerk. I just, Emma hasn't noticed what's wrong with it. This game has made me question everything, or rather everyone. No, don't question everyone. Come on, trick. I just think, Emma, a lot of people do think it's weird to be friends with exes. 
It is like a common thing to think. So I'd, I'm not gonna hold that against Emma. I will not hold it against her. All right. Hi, we're trying to organize a kayaking trip with friends. Would you and Ben like to come? You need to tell me by Monday so we can make a reservation. Hi, Laura. We haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're well and everything. XOXO. Yeah, she disappeared around March. What the fuck? But she disappeared in about June for Ben. But she disappeared for everyone else in March. Amelia. Mm -hmm. All right. Did Kitty tell you about the space bar? The bar you went to when you were students? That's the one. Do you want to go there tonight? Sure. Call me when you're free. I have nothing planned. Hi, are we still meeting at the mall? Yeah, but I'm running late. Sorry. Okay, call me when you arrive. Shall we have a little space bar session? Or my bank account won't like it. Whatever, I'm buying. You can pay me back in homemade smoothies. All right, then. Victor and I finally found the perfect lounge table. How cool is that? It's a table that folds out and back again, so it's both small table and quite a big one when you have more people around. It even has extensions that you can pull out. Have you fallen in love with this table? Yeah, we're getting married in two weeks. So you're leaving Victor, haha? <laughs> space bar? Space bar. I'm doing brunch with friends this Saturday. Do you want to come? I sure do. What should I bring? We've got the basics covered, but I, if you want to bring something special, then go ahead. Hmm, figs on toast? Ooh, lovely. See you on Saturday, then. It's space bar time. Oh no, not that goddamn j jiggle. Jingle? You can't get out of your head. <laughs> From the other side of the galaxy. Oh my god, space bar. Uh, want to go out for a meal tonight? I found a new restaurant that isn't too expensive. I can't approximately that many dissertations to grade. Damn. And dissertations. Holy shit. Uh, ouch. Good luck. I have a discount voucher for trainers from Sports & Co. Would you like it? Oh yeah, I have to buy some new trainers to go jogging in. I'm passing by your place this afternoon. I'll drop it into your mailbox. Ooh, thanks. Do you have some... Do you have to come... Do you want to come around and have a drink? No, I can't. I have so much to do this afternoon. Okay, then. Hi, Laura. We're going to Space Bar this afternoon. Do you want to come? I surely do. I love those strawberry guava lemon basil cocktails. Plus, I have some big news for you. Should we meet... When is this? Oh, when she met Ben. Should we meet around my place beforehand? Okay, see you later. You must forgive me. You must give me the recipe for zucchini you made for us the other day. Ha, uh, hey lady, that's my trade secret. Ooh, I won't tell anyone, I promise. I'll give it to you tomorrow when I see you at Daniel's place. I'm going shopping at the DIY store. What's the DIY store? Michael's? Like, <laughs> do you need anything to fix stuff in your apartment before I ha before you hand it over? Uh, yeah, thanks. Shall I come pick you up? That would be great. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Hello, Daniel and I are having our joint birthday party this Saturday. Can you bring your famous zucchini dish? It tastes, it never tastes as good when I do it. I'm not free on Saturday, sorry. Oh no, that's too bad. We're going to try a new bar to make a change from Space Bar. It's called Corvo Bianco downtown, if you want to join us. And then never heard from her again in January. Unless it's mixed with the other messages. Uh, take care, Dre. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> I will do thing. <laughs> Legit. Strawberry guava lemon basil sounds amazing, right? So good. Take care. All right. Elsa. Hi, Laura. Hi, Elsa. Hello, Le Elsa. Are you going to Edgerton? Always and forever. I'm looking for a job. Hi, well, you and me both then. Can I drop by your place tonight? Sure, it'll be great to catch up. I warn you, it's very small and very untidy. Ah, who cares? Don't worry, I live in a tiny box too, but it's fairly cheap for Edgerton. <laughs> True. Do you still live in the same apartment? Yeah, the same matchbox. I'll call you when I'm at the door. Hi, I found a cool little cafe, Java Genie. They have these terrific muffins. These make me hungry. Mm-hmm, do they serve tea too? Of course, they have their own blends and everything. Ah, now we're talking. I'm going jogging with Emma a few nights this week. Would you like to come with us? Mm, not a great fan of jogging. I think I'd just slow you down. Well, we do run pretty fast. Uh, but if you'd rather go for a bike ride in Lions Park sometime, I'd love to. On the weekend, maybe? I'll ask Emma if she'd like to come. I'm going... What? what the, oh, Elsa. Elsa and Emma. Gotcha. I'm going to Elderwise Small. Do you know the one in the suburbs? Do you want to come? Uh... But why are you going way out there? There's a mall downtown, isn't there? Yeah, but this is often cheaper and it's bigger. Ah, uh, in that case, why not? Cool, meet at my place? I'll be there in 15. 
Uh, I'll make the bike reservations tonight. Okay, thanks for seeing to that. I would, wouldn't even know where to do or how to, who to ask. Where to do that or how to ask. Who to ask. God damn it. Hi, I go cycling every two weeks, so I'm used to it by now. Hi. I can't be bothered to cook tonight. Could, should we do eat at a restaurant instead? Hmm, I don't have much money at the moment. I'll pay for you then. Ben and I were going to eat at home tonight. Oh, okay. Another time then. Gotcha. Hi, I asked Emma if she would like to go on another bike ride. Uh, we thought we'd get out of town and cycle in a more peaceful environment. Tamford Forest has some fabulous bike paths. Shall we go this weekend? No, can't do this weekend. Ben and I want to spend some time together. We can go some other time. Well, we actually have a lot of couple stuff planned on weekends this month. Okay, okay, that's a shame. Oh, okay. what it was okay our messenger cloud save uh account to synchronize main account connected not connected work account <gasps> i know this hold up Z, God damn it, zero, three, and one, nine, zero. Jesus. Does it have to be so long? Uh, hi, Lumini. Or is it, oh, it's it money. Hello, hello. This is welcome, and this is another lost phone, which I don't know how close to the end I am, um, but it's about domestic abuse and how to recognize it and get out of it i believe or at least how to recognize it um and it is a, like a search a cell phone type situation it is a spiritual successor to a normal lost phone but it's not related it's not the same characters so yes couple stuff yeah quote unquote okay um oh cool i remembered this time so, oh, it's numbers! Bird, there were letters. What? Great. That's letters too. What? No more math, right? Guys, did anyone catch it? I'm gonna ask you guys, did anyone catch that? Like where I could find the work number? Ooh. Cause I feel like that's the last thing I need to do. God damn. So he said how to, she asked how do I create a password? He had set an example of combining two easy to remember passwords. But the problem is. Uh, oh, it's LT. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was it money. LT money. Hey. Uh. I'm still mostly not here, but welcome on in. <laughs> Thank you so much for s noticing that, because I totally didn't see it was capital L. Hello, LT money. All right. Um, maybe there's a button in the password input that lets you switch to letters. I didn't see one, but let me double check. 
clear. No, no, that's just buttons for down there. Uh, she makes passwords over complicated. Well, she has to. I don't blame her, but god damn it. She has to because she has an abusive, creepy um, boyfriend. But like, there isn't, it isn't giving me a clue. Here, wait. Easy to remember password. So what was it? 2121. And maybe her year of birth? I think her year of birth is 1991. Fuck. I could just try 2121. Mother of God! Oops. She said it was the same as alarm? What do you mean? That one guy said his was, but I don't think she did. Maybe you're supposed to use the sort of old number pad layout logic. What do you mean? Also, wait, there is something I don't know. Is how to get into something. It was like, what was that? It was GPS. I can't figure out how to get into GPS. Hmm. Why? Why? It's my birthday. Wait, wasn't it recent? Charlotte. My birthday. So it's O four fourteen. Anybody else have an idea? God damn. Woo! Let's not put that there. <laughs> uh. Oh, that kind of old cell phone? I see what you mean, but that's... I don't know what they would do. For 1991? Maybe. Would it be 1990? I'm unamused. She would be 1991. 
Isn't that the account the video was sent over? So it would be 1990? It'd be ber his birth year. Maybe? She shares a birthday with my little bro, hey. I'll see, hold on. Can you share the password you had to write down real quick? Which password? The first password was birth year boyfriend, first boyfriend, which was 1990. And then office number was 107, Adam's office. And the street number was 24. Is that, that's too many numbers though. One too many numbers. Literally one too many numbers. If it's Ben's birthday, I'd ship bricks. Let me see though. You secure, but dang. Um, Claire. Try entering his birth year as a secure. Okay, so, okay, his birthday. Guys, his birthday. He is 30, I believe. Eighty-seven, yeah. The stupidly long number combo in her notes. Problem is the letters don't work. That's the one problem. Can I put it down? Uh, it was this. That was as long as his birthday hasn't happened yet. That was the problem last time. True, but neither worked. I mean, unless they were looking for the date. In which case. Like, not necessarily the numbers, but where I can find them. Like, is it this date? Or if you can't figure it out, that's fine too. And just tell me the number, but preferably where I can find it first.
thinking. And like, I legit have no freaking idea. Hint, you already have four numbers Laura uses often. The remaining four can be found using Alex's clue to find another four digit number at Laura's, at the, a place Laura frequents. Ooh, this is what I found without spoilers. So what she uses often. You Tell me if I'm wrong or right. Is 2121 what she uses often? Or is it her year, which is 1991? Oh, well. I'm still going to be determined to find what she frequents often. So it is the 2121. But what's the other one then? Where do I find? I, I recognize that number. But I don't remember where I found it. And I want to make sure I know where I found it. His four, oh, is it really Ben's place? Hold up. I wanna know where I found it. When would we have learned this? That's what I'm, I, I remember that number though. So maybe with Ben, maybe he told us. We key my ass. Yep. That's the door code. That's the door code. Okay. Oops. I just really wanted to know where it came from. Okay. Um. Four zero zero four. Thank you. Thank you, LT Money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you combine the two numbers for a password. Gotcha. Yeah, that was the hint that he gave. So, Alex after the freak out. Oh, I, I guess it was that. <laughs> All right. Mm. Uh, backup restored is the achievement I got. All right. Did I do it? My nose itches like inside. Ah. All right. It's like a fuzzy got stuck up there. Ooh, so notes got restored. Wait, wait, number two. This is number one. Domestic violence conference number one. Domestic violence equals cycle. Manifest progressively within a relationship. Intentionally tension, intentionally tension and hostility. Um, cycle four phases. Tension phase. Irritability of the perpetrator, which is attributed to work, stress, traffic issues, etc. No physical violence, but hostile silences, aggressive looks, and irritable tone. Uh, everything the victim does is a source of irritation to the pep perpetrator. Their stress and frustration is always the victim's fault. The victim tries to find out what's wrong, but is faced with responses like, no, it's nothing. I don't know what you're why you're complaining. And eventually it leads to verbal aggression and insults, and the victim regrets asking. Boys, this so real for me. Aggressive phase. The perpetrator appears to be losing control, yelling, insults, threats, breaking objects, often leading up to physical violence. Luckily, this was a long distance relationship and I've never met this person. Progressive physical violence, pushing, arm twisting, slaps, punches, use of a weapon. The victim is overwhelmed by feelings of powerlessness and sadness rather than anger. Excuses phases phase uh the perpetrator tries to deny or downplay his behavior he finds an explanation that shifts the blame onto the victim boy don't i fucking know that so we missed the aggressive phase because we weren't physical but fucking scary that this kid is 16 had all these <sighs> or the result of an external pressure he promises to change says that everything will be fine that he'll see a psychologist etc more promises, emotional blackmail, I need you, I'm nothing without you, I would die without you, etc. I'm salty not because I am dismissing what this is, I'm salty because this has happened to me. So just as to anyone just coming in or seeing me lurking that hadn't heard me say that before. All right. Reconciliation phase, a honeymoon period. The perpetrator is suddenly attentive, considerate, shows the victim, showers the victim with 
gifts, etc. The perpetrator is very sincere, fearing that the victim will really leave him, and he begs for forgiveness. Renewed hope that the perpetrator will really change, but this simply raises the victim's tolerance threshold to violence. The victim thinks they can cure him, help him, etc. The victim... Louise? What? Frightened during the aggressive phase? Was. I think it's supposed to be was, and it's just a typo. During the aggressive phase, but this phase persuades them to stay. This phase, or the phases, repeat themselves and spiral into a vicious cycle. The victim eventually perceives this violence as normal, and their life can be a serious risk if this continues. Jekyll and Hyde behavioral patterns. Wait, so who's the first boyfriend again? Alex seemed like a cool guy. It's Alex! No, the first boyfriend's fine. First boyfriend's not the issue. Ben's the issue. Yeah, the first boyfriend was Alex. I live after PC. I live! Restarted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disco died for 18 minutes? Who's Disco? What's Disco? Or Discord? Or what? Welcome back, though. I'm glad you're living. Living is good. All right. Um... Now this one. Domestic violence conference number two. Physical... Wait, I saw that. Discord. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Well, at least you're back. Welcome back. Physical and psychological violence are linked. There is no physical violence without psychological violence that precedes it. Psychological violence. A series of attitudes and comments. By the way, oh my god, is this hitting real? Not only because this was a boyfriend I had back when I was 16, but on top of that, my boss, my very first one, um, not my very first one, my very... The first one at the last job I was at, and then I switched bosses, and she was a lot better. But the first guy, I was terrified of him. And I was afraid to leave because I was afraid of what he might do. Um, he was physical with objects, luckily not with employees, probably because he knew better. Um, but he was very verbal and very scary, and then would let you know how much you were important to the company, and so you wouldn't feel bad for leaving, and it was... I've had this twice. <sighs> Psychological violence. A series of attitudes and comments to degenerate or denig denigrate? Destabilize and hurt the other person. This is not a unique event, but it is an integral part of the relationship. It is intended to subdue the other, control them, and to maintain the feeling of power. Like, I forget that the 16 year old boyfriend existed because I've been with Shy Guy and River so long that it's just, it's felt like oh, forever. So I forget that that guy existed, but my boss, like legit, I legit used to think like, why doesn't someone in a physical or abusive relationship get out? I don't understand. And then having that boss made me realize why people stay and why it's so hard to leave and terrifying to leave and that how strong that fear can be to keep you from leaving. So I totally understand it now. Obviously, different level. I was lucky I never had the physical aspect because it was a boss. Um, but, I mean, it's I, I legit was terrified to leave. Like, I was afraid of his reaction so much. And I was, I like legit had panic attacks in my car during lunchtime when I was afraid I'd be stuck there forever. Stuck at this job for, like, I, I was so afraid of not being able to leave because I kept applying to other jobs. I couldn't get a new job because I still had less than a year experience. I was panicking i legit i was on anti-anxiety medication and anti-bipolar and was still having extreme panic attacks towards the end of that like bad so like i completely understand like if it weren't for the meds i don't know how i would have gotten through that year and my grandpa passed away that year and my mom got in the severe car accident my dad got severe like serious surgery on his liver it was like the year of terror <laughs> it was great um this is yeah about three years ago now but oh my god do i understand these relationships so much better now talking about hitting close to home seriously that's awful right my ex stepdad is an alcoholic addict emotional abuser and all around shitty human being so i get you all the love social blasphemy i'm sending all the love your way i'm really fortunate to not have had it be someone that i couldn't escape luckily it was a boss and i eventually got out of that situation but i'm so sorry that that was your ex-stepdad. I had an ex back in high school that was manipulative and hurtful and went behind my back with several others and she coerced me into this stuff with love. Oh, Rain. I'm so sorry. 
all the love your way. At least that's an X now and you're safe. At least it didn't get farther too. I had a job like that and it was awful, but this sounds so much worse. I was terrified of him. <laughs> Just utterly terrified of him. <laughs> He, I mean, I owned up to him a lot more when I had got to my other boss and my, I saw my other boss stand up to him. That gave me guts to stand up to him and he actually never yelled at me since that I stood up to him when he yelled at me for no reason. Like literally yelled at me. I'm like, you told me to do this. Whether or not you remember you told me to do this, you told me to do this, it's not my fault. And I'm not going to own up to the fact it's my fault when I didn't do this. And he actually never yelled at me again. <laughs> I like, I was, I mean, like, I was very firm with him, and I had a voice that was very on the verge of yelling. I was like, uh-uh, I am not taking this fall. Fuck that. Like, I didn't swear at him, like, my bo like the bosses always swore between each other. But I was like, uh-uh, I'm not dealing with this. And my bosses, the two bosses, used to be exes. They were together for eight years before they finally broke up, and that's even more awkward when they had a business together. Um, but she said that she, she talked about her life very... I, I know a lot about her. I probably shouldn't know a lot like an insane amount. I really should I should not know I don't even know about my friends much less my boss now So um, but she told me about how she said that if she hadn't broken up with with him when she did She's pretty sure he would have become abusive and I would not have been surprised At all. We're all throwing love in chat. I love this. Thank you. I'm gonna throw love in chat with you guys I didn't even read what it's for but I agree <laughs> Oh, add physical and you got my dad. Oh, Ernie, all the love, guys. Everyone throw love in. Oh, for Cat in the chat. Thank you, Sapphire Tools. This is the first time you guys have thrown love in chat without my, without me. This is amazing. Thank you. Take that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Ernie, all the love. All the love to all you guys. For anyone who's been in these situations, it's not easy and it's scary. And just know that I'm here for you guys and I love you guys. So, it's for you and everyone. Thank you, Frog. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, you guys are gonna make me cry. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's been an emotional day. Jesus. Where was I? I think I was here. Subtle mistreatment without physical striking, creating tension, frightening the victim to demonstrate his power. Boss. Difficult to quantify uh, and evaluate because it is subjective and depends on the level of sensitivity to each victim several types of behavioral patterns and attitudes that can be considered microaggressions. Control. Possessive vocabulary. Monitoring the victim maliciously in order to dominate and command them. Oh, did he put up cameras everywhere? Luckily, after I left, uh, he just has a hard time with not being in control. E.g. taking control of mealtime, sleep, spending, social life, etc. He never cared if you went overtime. You had to stay. Even if you did not plan for it. Uh, meal times? Oh, did he get mad at me for taking lunches at like one or two, even though he never had a rule about it, ever. Never told me he had a rule about it. I always would be like, okay, I'm taking my lunch and be fine with it. And then one day, he just said, you need to start taking your lunches early. Like, he was mad. You need to start taking your lunches earlier because, um, that everyone else has to take their lunch after you, which that doesn't make sense. Why does everyone else have to wait for me? I, I don't get it. I'm the graphic designer and I was the only one that was a graphic designer there. Why? Nobody has to wait on me. It, when I take my lunch is when I take... Anyway, and then he uh, said, and then uh, like you get less productive when you come back and stuff like that, which was not true. He got less productive when he came back from his lunch with only an hour left and him and his friend, which by the way, his friend was his project manager. So they were always... Uh, not paying attention to their job more than half the day but of course he took it out on us and made us think we were the ones that were doing it even though i knew i knew luckily and i got so mad but couldn't say anything because he was my boss oh my god <laughs> i'm having like ptsd about this uh, and not joking like i'm not saying it as a joke i'm being serious like i'm having these flashbacks that i'm just like my rage is building it's fine talking about the awkward business encounters yeah beyond eyes to this right my stepdad was a hoarder too, so that was nice. Oh my god, hoarder so like not a safe situation. It's really hard to overcome. I am so sorry, social. Oh my word. Because that, that triggers them in a different way. Like if you try to move stuff of theirs, or try to get rid of stuff of theirs without them knowing or anything like that is really <laughs> on top of all the stuff you just explained. Can't be a fun situation. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Jerk boss needed to get drunk in trash can. Yeah, I mean he got drunk a lot too. And sometimes that worked. <laughs> My word. Okay. 
So, uh, isolation, isolating the victim from family, friends, colleagues, social acquaintances, the perpetrator, and should, obviously a boss doesn't have this much control over my life, so I'm, I'm lucky that I had a way out, but some people don't. Um, the perpetrator ensures that the victim's life is essentially focused on him exclusively. Taking the victim's phone, for example, taking the victim's phone, computer, etc., insinuations and lies about other people in the victim's life. Isolation is both a cause and a consequence for mistreatment. Uh, pathological jealousy, jealous behavior, constant suspicion, unfounded accusations and intent, no basis in reality. <laughs> that was my boss. Luckily, that was never me. Luckily, he never had those thoughts about me. I mean, maybe now that I've left, maybe he does, but, um, I saw him have so many, like, saying, like, they left and they took, like, so... Yes, he had these accusations. Sometimes they were actually founded, though. But he was constantly scared that people would... Um, he was constantly suspicious that they were going behind his back and going to a different company or that they were giving information to other companies or that they uh, only took the jobs so that way they could learn so they could go on their own. And he constantly had this fear. <laughs> constantly! But I will say... It was satisfying and also it betrayed me too. So I can't be that satisfied about it. But there was a guy there that I, he's the reason I got the job. And as much as that's a bad thing, um, it was also a good thing because I, I needed a job at the time. So he always looked out for me. And anytime that this boss yelled at me, this guy would always be there for me. He was our marketing manager basically, but he was the guy that went out and did advertising and stuff like that. Um, he, he was amazing to me. He always made sure I was okay. But, <laughs> He left and then we found out that he actually went to competition and gave them all our clients and then told us all of what we told them all about what we do and then started trying to steal our clients so he started proving that guy's fear and i was like this is the stupidest thing you could do frog thank you so much for the donation you're a strong and powerful role model keep up the amazing work oh thank you so much thank you and thank you for those kind words thank you guys throw all the love in chat Thank you so much, Frong. Thank you, thank you. Oh, he did so much more. We found out he did so much that I was like, I can't like him anymore. Because he took, so I make work, I made worksheets personally. Like, I made them to help the company. Because, again, when I moved to the other boss, she was amazing. And I wanted to do stuff to help her. So, uh, he made up work, or I made up worksheets. So they could better, when they went off to go get clients it was a lot easier it was a really easy worksheet on how to like because we did vehicles so it was um like vehicles dimensions like where to write everything it was like as detailed as i could fucking get and she helped me with it he fucking took those i i was like this is a personal job <laughs> he took those and brought them to that company i was like you know what you were nice to me, but I'm going to take this as a personal jab. I've not talked to him since. But um, he, because he, like, tried to share my art and stuff. He was trying to get me, into, like, into other places. Like, he was nice. And then that just felt like a personal thing. Um, and then we found out that when he was on the job, he was actually going and having an affair. <laughs> so he was actually not a good person. And it did not help that the boss was already a paranoid person. <laughs> then this happened. And they were best friends for years. Like, 15 years. Like, my boss actually, no joke, helped this guy out of like poverty and stuff like that and they were in the military together and stuff and for this guy to just turn around we were all like what <laughs> like all of us were in shock social blast for me thank you so much for the sub thank you so so much it says it's the first time so you get this speech of you get now access to the squid love emo and to the discord if you have it linked with twitch it might take an hour but just contact me if you have any problems and welcome to the winners where everyone's a winner thank you so much thank you thank you thank you but yeah that dude i don't know he was totally like you never would have guessed this never in a million years meeting him would ever guess he was this type of person it was bizarre <laughs> oh my god yeah Nope, it was awkward. It was so awkward. Thank you so much. And guys, all the love and chat. I realized my, uh, it didn't throw love and chat. All the love. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, really? <laughs> really? <Ugh. laughs> oh my god. Love it when cats get fired. <laughs> Cat gets fired up. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad it's entertaining. My word. Whew, it's fine. I'm running out of water, guys. We gotta finish this soon. 
At this rate, we might be able to raid Kida. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna say harassment because I think I read... Yeah, denial of reality. Also, this is the same boss that believes in all the conspiracy theories that exist in reality, so. <laughs> uh, that certainly was some friendship, right? It was so weird. Anyway. I've been live for six and a half hours. Finger guns. Anyway. Uh, harassment. Repeating a message to exhaust mental and critical judgment capacities of the victim. To make them accept anything, monitoring the person, following the victim in the street, harassing them on the phone, waiting for the victim as they leave work, as she leaves work. It should be they, but um, work harassment often occurs after a breakup because it can be um, either way. It can go both ways. Denigration? Denigration? Affects the victim's self-esteem, making them believe they are worthless. Dismissive attitudes and hurtful words causes the victim to lose self-confidence. Expresses doubts about the victim's mental health, denigrates their uh, intellectual abilities, their body and appearance, launches a systematic attack on the victim's family, friends, and or children. This can happen with words that appear to be sincere or normal. Humiliation. Disparages. Uh ridicules and acts in a disrespectful way towards the victim. This is merely an outlet of the perpetrator's anger, e.g. mocking, spitting in the victim's face, making crude noises, urinating on the victim. Okay, that's a sign. Uh, creating a feeling of shame that severe sever serves as an additional obstacle uh, to prevent that's the typo. Uh, the victim from talking about their concerns. What a trooper with that stream time. Thanks, Ernie. Uh, intimidation. Exhibits acts of indirect violence, e.g. on their environment, breaking objects, slamming doors, etc. Driving too fast, cruelty towards a pet, etc. Shows the victim that physical violence could happen to them, too. Uh, creates a feeling of fear in the victim. Indifference or too emotional demands. Uh, refusal to show any concern for the victim and sensitivity, making a show of rejection or contempt, intentionally creates a situation of lack and frustration. Lack. Uh, refusing to communicate, going to family events, etc. Disregarding the physical or psychological state of the other. Threats. Blackmail. Threats of suicide. That's, that's a common fucking one. Uh, never, ever think that someone's suicide is your fault. It's not. It is usually because something is going on with them. And whether or not they say it's your fault, it's because they don't realize it. Don't take, don't think it's your fault. Don't ever let them make you believe that. Don't feel guilty about it. Just saying. If they go through with it, don't feel guilty about it. It is not your fault. That was their choice. Just saying, by the way. Threats of retaliation against the family or entourage maintaining power over the victim. Some of these acts can seem as normal when isolated, but when they happen repeatedly over a long period of time to the same person, they become a form of violence. The perpetrator takes advantage of the emotional weakness to the victim, wearing them down mentally. Cox. Cox. Okay. Um, so it restored gallery, but I think that was already connected. So I think we're, yeah, all caught up in gallery. That was notes. We still have, I don't think we have anything missing from this. Yeah. So the rest is messages. Amir, who this, who's Amir? Charlotte. Did we talk to Amir before? <clears throat> okay. Hi Amir, it's Laura, Ben's girlfriend. I just wanted to know if you're still friends with Claire. Don't tell Ben I asked you. Hi Laura, or yeah, why? Ben told me she tried to end his relationship with his ex, Julia, while they were still together because she wanted to date him for herself. Is this true? Hmm, no, I don't think so. But anyway, Claire was dating Oliver at the time. Claire told me that Ben was violent with Julia. Do you think this is true? Let's say Julia was a complicated girl, but I got the impression there were times when he really lost it with her. I advised Ben to see a therapist or join a support group for people with anger issues, but he wouldn't listen. But you still remained friends with him? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, I don't know. What goes on in Ben's private life is none of my business and it's history. You are a part of this then. Bystander, bystander, bystander. 
Do something! Help a girl out! Goddamn! Jake, how you doing? Meow. Meow. What's up? He's ignoring me now. Rude. Wow, well, this game. Real. Yeah. Well, he could have at least warned me. Listen, I already told him to get some help. I did what I could. Fuck off. All right. Charlotte. Ooh. Is this from the beginning? Wait, wait, wait. I, I read all this. I heard a cat. Yeah, that was Jake. That was an old man. hope you let me in. I think this is, I think this is when, okay, this is the difference. Charlotte. Hi, Laura. How are you feeling today? So, so why are you texting me on my work phone? After what you told me about your guy, I wanted to text you somewhere he couldn't read the messages message. Anyway, I suggest you use a password to lock your work phone and never unlock it from him, in front of him. He already flew into this heavy, jealous rage when I wanted to lock my personal phone, so I don't think that's a good idea. Um, warning signs! Warning signs! I don't know the password to get into, uh, actually I do know the password to get into Shy Guy's phone, but that's just because he literally don't give two fucks. But I don't know how to get into River's phone, but Shy Guy just, he does it in front of everyone and everyone knows what the password is. <laughs> but like, I don't know River's and River's very private. Like, I, I don't, like, that's their privacy. If I ask questions, I hope they're telling me the truth, but that's it. Like, what? Where's the trust then? There's no trust. There's literally no trust. Anyway. Am I kidding me out at your cat? Oh, kitty meows. Everyone should go to therapy. Even if you don't have trauma, it helps with someone objective to talk to. That's what we were talking about earlier, too. But it can be very, very helpful. Very helpful. Like, <laughs> it can save lives or relationships or situations in general. I mean, obviously you gotta find someone that works for you and if you have just a bad luck, at least you're, t hopefully you're taking care of yourself, but that's like, you know what works best for you, but I see it as a positive thing personally. All right. Um, what do you mean heavy? He yelled at me and said I was hiding things from him. He accused me of having a lover and said I didn't really love him and that I was locking my phone because I didn't trust him. Okay, I get it. That's a bad. That's bad. It's not normal, you know. Uh, it's because he doesn't trust you. I don't know, but at the same time, I'm not giving this look to her. I'm giving it to him. I'm mad at him. Uh, I don't know, but at the same time, I understand him. He needs reassurance to know that I love him. Don't you think it's a mark of trust in the other person to let them see the contents of your phone? No, I disagree. A real mark of trust would be to believe the other person and not always feel the need to have proof of their love and faithfulness by snooping through their phone. Plus, it's important for both partners to have their own secret garden, quote unquote. Listen, for him, it's not really negotiable. He's been lied to in the past and needs some reassurance. Yeah, I get it, but it's not great. If you want a reason for locking your phone, you'll just have to say Michael insisted on it. What do you mean? So you lock your work phone and tell him it was Michael's orders and he wants to, the work phones to be more secure because the phone contains confidential work stuff. Yeah, okay. I don't see why I would need to lie to him though. It's unhealthy not to have a space where you can grouch about your relationship occasionally without him knowing. Yeah, but if you, wait, who is this, Charlotte? Okay, so this isn't fake anyone. This is actually Charlotte. It's not Amanda or anything. Yeah, but I'm having a... But if I'm having relationship problems, I should just talk to him, shouldn't I? Sure, but it's sometimes good to talk to your girlfriends to have another point of view. Okay, okay, I'll lock this phone. Hi, how are you? Exhausted, I've just been running for an hour. Congratulations. Oh, uh, where you? Where do you go running now? It's been a while since we pumped, bumped, pumped into each other at the park. That's hardly surprising because I run on the treadmill. Uh, we have it home now. Wow, those things are expensive, aren't they? There's a present from Ben pretty silly gift huh I mean you go run outside for free yeah but it's so handy I can run when I want to and don't have to get harassed by street in the street by stupid men it also keeps you alone since when have stupid men stopped you from running that's true but Ben was worried about me and prefers me not to go out wait a second what do you mean he prefers you not to go out yeah he's afraid something might happen to me 
but you you do go out don't you you go shopping meet friends you see amelia elsa i get the shopping delivered it's easier and i'm talking to my friends less and less at the moment why is that oh you know you tend to have fewer friends as time goes on and when you're in a relationship you don't see people as much but you still see emma don't you not really since I've been with Ben, things have become a little complicated. Nearly all of my friends have faded away. I'm starting to wonder if they're jealous. What do you mean jealous? Well, you know, I'm one of those rare and lucky people among my girlfriends who have found a job they love and my life with Ben is fabulous. Not only am I happy in my relationship, but he has money too. So financially, I'm living in a fairy tale while they're struggling. Don't think like that. That's, that's damaging. And you think they're keeping their distance because they're jealous? That's the only explanation Ben and I could come up with. Sad, but there it is. Or I'm sorry to tell you this, but Ben's behavior isn't normal. He's the one who's jealous. I get the impression he's controlling you, that he's isolating you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm saying this based on what you're telling me. He's jealous and wants to read the contents of your phone. He controls you by not letting you go out on your own. He's manipulating you with a treadmill gift. He's isolating you from your f girlfriends by insinuating they're jealous of you. That is not normal. And this doesn't happen in a normal relationship. He is a problem. You always focus on the negative. It's not like you at all, Charlotte. I swear it's nothing to worry about, okay? He has his faults, but nothing serious. No, he has a problem. And of course you're blind to it. You're madly in love with him. Okay, so you have your own take on things and just won't let it go. You're a pain in the ass. I guess it's useless talking to you. Sorry if I'm interfering and it's none of my business, but I'm worried. Like I told you, everything's fine. Leave me alone. I'm here if you need me. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hey, I don't know if you're mad at me, but you know I still consider you my friend and I'm here if you need me. Just wish to wish you a very happy birthday and hope everything's okay with you. Hi, thanks for your birthday message. How are you at the moment? Not great, I have to say. What's up? One of Ben's former friends contacted me with some and said some terrible things about him that have really upset me. I can imagine. Have you mentioned it to Ben? No. Really? Why? She told me he had a history with violent behavior with his ex, and it really freaked me out. But when Ben already told me about this girl, how she was madly in love with him and would do anything to have him to herself, I don't know what to think. Okay, so how do you feel about it? Charlotte's smart. Charlotte's asking, like focusing on how she feels and stuff and not jabbing anymore. This is uncomfortable. Yeah. Laura, please seek help. I think she does. I think that's why the notes have those uh, files. Hi, Aline Winchester. Hello. Uh, that Ben now know how to plan this stuff. Yeah, he knows how to plan. He knows how to plan real good. He's really crafty. My old friend is way too much like this. Oh no. Well, at least her old friend. Charlotte is a really good friend. Yeah. Like, Charlotte's being really smart. It's really smart to ask, how do you feel? Really good to ask that. Huh. Why does it matter if she has a passcode on her phone? It's her phone. She can do what she wants. Right? Right? Hi, Red. I can't believe you're still streaming. Hello. I know. I think I'm going to be end up raiding Kita if I can be done with this. Uh, yeah, it's been seven hours. <laughs> Almost. Charlotte should go into counseling. A counseling career, right? Yeah, my mom would always ask me how. Like, it took 11 years for me to stop being with a physically abusive friend. And emotionally later. Um, and this was just a friend. And it took me 11 years to recognize. I've had a lot of abusive relationships. Guys, I didn't realize it. Anyway, I mean, I noticed it. I just never said them in sequence, so I didn't think about how many there were. Anyway, so, um, but my mom always asked me, how do you feel? And stuff like that. I would come home crying. She would talk to me about it, help me work through it. And finally, I realized how unhealthy she was for me. My mom helped me realize that, but it takes a long time. I mean, I was really young. It was freshman year in high school when I finally realized it. I was friends with her since we were four. So, like... It's hard when your brain isn't fully developed, especially to realize what's going on, whereas my mom could see it, but it, he has this mentally a uh, mentality where if it isn't with his girlfriend every second of the day, it's the end of the world. Oh God, inappropriate. So, so inappropriate. She first came with all the burbs. There were so many burbs, Red. I know you weren't interested in it, but there were so many burbs. So many. There were chickens, there were birds everywhere, there were crows. 
there were seagulls, they were evil. YouTube randomly came up and shoved me off Twitch? What the fuck? That's coincidence? I think not! <laughs> that. Alright. Uh, my first reaction was to not believe her, but then I thought about everything you said and started to realize that I should leave him. And I've given it some serious thought, especially as he's been pretty difficult to live with recently. But he was so sweet on my birthday, so I'm confused. He's aware of his faults, you know. Which means, she's being so smart. You know he's too possessive and he does apologize. He knows he's too possessive and he does apologize. His work is really exhausting. Sometimes he drinks a little too much to unwind and then says things he doesn't really mean. Alcohol is no excuse for bad behavior. But he knows when he's gone too far. And my birthday was so romantic, he took me away on a surprise weekend and it was fantastic. I really felt like I'd re rediscovered the Prince Charming I once knew. But aren't you scared he'll start over? No, not at all. He even promised to see a psychoanalysis uh, to address his anger management issues. Okay, keep me posted on how the situation develops, all right? Okay. Promise? Promise. Hi. Charlotte's smart. Charlotte is smart AF. Got some bread? Mm. I hope you gave those birds uh, the love and respect they deserve. Nothing bad happened to them. We had to get birds for the seagulls so they would get out of our way. We were scared of seagulls and we were scared of crows, but she was not scared of hummingbirds. She was not scared of just pretty birds. Uh, like, I don't know what they were. Um, there was a woodpecker she was fine with. Yes. And the chickens she was fine with. No, no, no. Runer, you're fine. I didn't mean inappropriate like you're inappropriate. I'm saying that it's inappropriate of him. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I meant like, yeah, you're right. You're right. And I'm saying it's inappropriate of that dude to want to be with his girlfriend every second. One of my cats just saw the neighbor's cat through my window. Flip the hell out. Oh no. Territorial. Oh, social. Oh no. We only a person like Charlotte. Yes, right? Exactly. I mean, seagulls will steal all your stuff. That's what I was saying. I was like, they're evil. <laughs> they will steal everything. They will steal fries out of your hands. I mean, they're not evil, but they're mischievous AF. Hi, how are you? Did things get better with Ben? No. What do you mean? Since he worries about me all the time, he got me to install an app so I can quickly send him my GPS coordinates if I have a problem. Basically, it was meant to really, to be a really practical thing. So if I was attacked or anything, I could in theory discreetly press a button to let him know where I was. But then he wanted to, me to use it at a specific time to reassure him so he knew I was in a safe, I was safe at home. So I was sending him a message every lunchtime. Then it turned into twice a day, then three times a day, and then finally every hour to make sure she was at home. It's fucked up. The other day I went out to get a coffee and when I used the app, it told him I was out. When he came back that night, he went into a massive jealous rage and it made no sense. He was convinced I was meeting another guy at a cafe and he just got this idea into his head. He was yelling at me, it was horrible. I just let him yell at me. I was paralyzed with fear. I wouldn't let it would he wouldn't let me sleep that night. As soon as I dozed off, he'd wake up wake me up again and demand I tell him the name of the person I was at the cafe with. The next morning at breakfast, I told him I'd had enough and couldn't go on like this. Then his attitude totally changed. He told me he was nothing without me and I meant everything to him, that he was scared of losing me, that he didn't know he'd do without me. I'd really like to leave him, but I'm scared, you know? I'm frightened for him. He needs me to help him get better. No, he doesn't. He needs different help. He needs very, very, very serious help. It's not you he needs, it's a therapist. I thought he was going to see a psychoanalyst. Analyst. He made an appointment, but he had to cancel because he was too busy at work that day. Don't you get the feeling it's the same old pattern? He behaves bad badly. He threatens, you threaten to leave. He apologizes, you change your mind. Listen, there's a conference followed by a support group meeting held by an association supporting victims of domestic violence. I've got a friend who works there. I'm going. And I'd really like you to come with me, okay? But I'm not a victim of domestic violence. Ben never hits me. Ben has never hit me. Okay, so he's never hit you. But sometimes when you talk, I get the feeling you're suffering psychological abuse and the conference will be tackling that issue too. What do I know? I'm not an expert, but it could be an interesting, it could be interesting to meet them. Don't you think? 
Worst case scenario, you'll see that it doesn't apply to you. And at best, you'll learn something about domestic abuse. It happens a lot, but people tend not to talk about it. You can at least find out. Surely? So what do I tell Ben the reason why I'm not there when he gets back? Tell him you're going to have a drink with me, and I'll bring you home. That way, he'll see you're not the with another guy. Okay, when is it? Next Thursday after work. Well, why not? I'll drop by and pick you up. How are you feeling today? Bad, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I keep, I kept getting up to read the notes I took during the meeting. There were so many things I recognized in Ben's behavior, it scares me. I feel so dumb and stupid for not realizing it earlier. I've been so blind and you were so right. You're no, you're not stupid. The important thing is that you've woken up to what's going on. You're a strong woman and brave. But I've been so dumb to allow myself to be manipulated like that. I guess I should leave him, but I don't know what to do. I don't even have a place of my own anymore. You can come and stay with me if you need to, when you're ready. I love Charlotte! Charlotte's a bro! God! Uh, she always wanted to hang out with his friends, but he never wanted that. Yeah, no. Ugh. What the fuck, right? Dude, jeez. I love Charlotte so much. Okay, you fucking warden. Yeah, seriously. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much, Charlotte. I'm so lucky I can count on you. When I think of all the women talking at that support group yesterday, some were living in situations much worse than mine and have nobody around to help them. Thank you for being there for me. I'll always be there for you. And if something ever happens to me, I can't, and I can't help you, you won't be alone. Look at all those women yesterday. Some terrible things happened to them and they thought they'd never come through, but the association always supported them and stuck by them. That's true, and I must, but I must insist, I can't thank you enough for your support. Hey, how are you today? I'm feeling so much better. Ben organized a lovely surprise to celebrate our six month anniversary. It was fantastic. You know, maybe I exaggerated a little this time. It's not like he's a monster. This is May, so she was talking for quite a while through this. Remember what I said? Charlotte is MVP, seriously. Remember what I said about at the conference about cycles of violence? I think that's what's happening between you and Ben. It's okay at the moment, but it's not the first time things have turned bad and then gotten better. Can I suggest something? Count the number of t Count the number of times. I know what that counters for now. The number of times a day Ben's behavior becomes unacceptable. That way, you can monitor if there's a cycle. With a steady progression of acceptable, unacceptable behavior, then it stops, then you, it gets progressively worse again. Mm, okay, I'm going to install a counter on my phone to check that. Write everything down, won't you? Even the little innocuous comments. So if he comments on how I dress, I write that down too? Yeah, even that. It's not up to him to tell you how to dress. It's your body, it's your choice. Keep me posted on when it happens, okay? Okay. How are you? Hi, Laura, I haven't heard from you, I'm worried. Are you okay? Laura, please let me know if you're okay. I just want to make sure you're still alive. Sorry I haven't been in touch for so long. I've made up my mind. Ben is dangerous. I have to leave this town, and I think I'm going to report him to the police. You're right to report him. However, are you However, are you sure you really have to get out of town because of him? I don't want to leave just because of him. I want to because I need to breathe again, to heal myself in a peaceful and healthy environment. I'm just worried that I have nowhere to go. Listen, maybe I have a solution, but that means I'll have to talk about your situation with Michael. Are you okay with that? Okay. Okay, I've talked to Michael. Michael's MVP too! Uh, we've come to a solution. There's a branch of association of the association that needs a communications manager. It's a long way from here in a quiet town, and he offered to transfer you there. You'll be fine. You'll be away from here, but at least you'll have a job. You could stay with the director until you find somewhere of your own. Uh, I have also checked that the association for support vic for victims of domestic violence has an office there, and you'll be able they'll be able to help you. You file your complaint. So the stage is set for you to slip away. Just tell me when you're ready. Thanks. Don't mention it. But just one thing. You'll have to return to work. You'll have to return your work phone to Michael. I would suggest you make a backup of all the content relative to your situation with Ben. It will be useful for you when you have a timeline to have a timeline of events and maybe store the evidence for when you report him. 
Ask Nadia if the in the IT department. She'll explain how you can save the content. I'll call you soon with more details. Meanwhile, just act normally with Ben. You don't want to him to suspect anything. Charlotte is MV fucking P. Well, that was terrifying. I have one new email from Laura. Lost phone. This message is for the unknown person who may find this phone. My name is Laura and I own this phone. I'm not writing to get it back, but I may need your kind of help. Your kind help. Uh, my partner is a violent and dangerous man. I've just left him to start a life, new life somewhere else and deliberately dropped this phone at a station when I was changing trains. I wanted to get rid of this phone so he couldn't locate me. I called my sister who told me he was harassing the people close to me to find out where I was and that makes my blood run cold. I have installed a new app on my phone. I am here. If you use it, the app will send a notification indicating the phone's GPS coordinates. I'm hoping to lead him down a false trail so he leaves my friends and my family alone. The code to unlock the GPS is attached. Obviously, I would please ask you to erase the data on this phone and then throw it away so he can't locate me and to prevent him from harassing you as well. Whatever, don't worry about me, I'm safe and intend to make a formal complaint against him. So, wait, wait, so I'm doing the GPS and then deleting everything from the phone? I totally like to invade people's phones. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do this IRL. I don't know if we're Michael. I don't think so. <sighs> okay, so the problem is, I don't know what order to do this in. Okay. I think this first. Oh. Apps. Was that not it? I got, where are you? It was Ben who sent the video. I apologize again for having wrongly accused you. I could see things were going badly in our relationship, but every time I told myself I was going to leave him, he became adorable, sweet, and romantic again. I really thought he could would change, but the cycle kept repeating. The doctor said I was missing my period because I was so stressed and had lost a lot of weight. And when Ben discovered I wasn't pregnant, he went crazy and called me selfish for not wanting to have a child with him. And then he suddenly, it suddenly dawned on me. The pill reminders that had disappeared from my phone, it was him. He wanted me to forget, but he didn't even deny it when I confronted him. Laura, you were right. Forgive me for not believing you. Ben was insanely jealous and now I realize he was manipulating me. He was conceived he was convinced I was hiding things from him and I think he was actually tracking my phone. He ended up pushing me when he tried to snatch it out of my hands. I thought it was best to leave before he went too far and I threw my phone and SIM card away just in case. <laughs> I actually felt ashamed. I was convinced that I was to blame for the situation with Ben and didn't dare tell anyone. Forgive me for having gone so far away without letting you know. I just feel empty now. I'm physically and mentally exhausted, but I'm going to take care of myself and rest. I was so stressed out that I couldn't sleep. 
I feel like I'm slowly recovering from a long Michael, thanks again for authorizing my transfer. I got here safely and the change of scene is doing me so much good. I'm surrounded by great people here and my transfer went very smoothly. I'm preparing my complaint with the help of an association here. Thank you so much once again. Michael and Charlotte and Alex are MVPs, guys. It's fine. I'm fine. And a uh, Chloe. Chloe slash Amanda. I don't know what I would have done if it weren't, if you hadn't been there. Every, or even when I pushed you away and didn't want to believe you, you stuck with me, by me. I'm gradually getting back in touch with my old friends and I'm so glad to know that they're here support, listening and supporting me. If you ever need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask, even if we're further away from each other now. Erase all beautiful again these devs guys they're gonna wreck my heart it's fine uh can you imagine the salt in the end reveal that you've been playing as ben the whole time right i don't think that that's not how they are though they're definitely like you are a random person that has found this luckily the devs aren't like that beep 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 oh my god everyone's motioning uh, time to light the torches. Oh my god, you guys. Motion granted. <laughs> just in time. Kita just started. Sweet! Now I can raid her! Perfect timing! Perfect! Perfect! Perfect. I gotta get food, though. I'm fucking hungry, so I'm gonna raid. But, oh my word. I'll come back to the stream later for Kita, but I gotta get something. Uh, sometimes drastic measures are called for. Yep, she did. So, just toss a burb in Discord if anyone needs me. A... Clap, clap, clap. Hey, this is so good. I love both of these games today. They were so good. Guys, they were so, so good. This was beautiful. And you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support when I was ranting. Thank you so, so much. You guys. And if you guys are ever going through a hard time, I can try and help where I can. Or at least try to get you, like, contacts to people to help you, too. Like, it's hard. It's not easy to go through this stuff. It's all very, very, very serious and very scary. So if you guys have gotten through that, congrats, can fucking grats. If you're in the situation, please remember there are people that can help you. You are not alone ever. Other people are going through the same stuff. What else were you playing? I was playing Beyond Eyes earlier, where you play as a little blind girl who's trying to find her cat friend who has ran out of her garden. So ended up watching your extra long stream instead of finally going to see The Last Jedi. Oh no! I've been dodging spoilers for so long and my copy finally arrived this morning. Well, go enjoy it, find. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, that one, Tia. Yes. Perfect timing. So, thank you guys so much for sticking through with me through these emotional games. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you for been through the whole stream. God damn, you guys have been doing this for as long as I have. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. But let's go and raid Kita. I'm starving. If you guys need something to say for the raid, this is what you can say. Otherwise, you guys can say anything you like. Thank you guys so much. Let's go give Kita some love, everyone. Actually, I just, I'm going to type it in chat and then I'll find, actually, I, I should probably open it up. <laughs> I should probably open it up so that way I can hear her when it's happening. But... Let's go raid her. She is about to play Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland. Super chill time. Super fun. She is fantastical. You guys, if you guys don't know her, she is fantastic. I co-op stream with her every Tuesday evening and every Saturday. So if you guys don't know, she is fan-fucking-tastic. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. My next stream is tomorrow. Again, if you need something to say for the raid but my next stream is tomorrow at 6 p.m central standard time i will be playing bayonetta for those that do not know i will be hopefully finishing it up so come hang out have some witchy sexy timeness with us but yeah that is tomorrow and hopefully i'm ending it and then the next co-op stream is with kita on saturday at 11 a.m central standard time we'll be playing phoenix right and trying to finish up that case we're not going to finish it but we're going to be pushing through case five but have a wonderful night. Oh, no, you're on lunch theme. Where am I vending? And we're raiding Kita. But hopefully you can watch some Akita. 
But yes, I'm going to start the raid. Thank you guys so much. I need to get food. I've been live for a little over seven hours. I'm hungry. So enjoy your lunch, Themo. Thank you guys so much. Midnight, time to fall asleep. Takeda, that's legit fine. Have a wonderful night. She has a lovely voice to listen to, to fall asleep to as well, because she's just so chill, guys. Enjoy it. Love you guys. I mean that in a positive way. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.